I think we're up and running on YouTube. All right. My voice is coming through. I'm going to assume TikTok. Usually YouTube comes up right away. It's TikTok that likes to struggle at the beginning of the stream. But it looks voices coming through, screens coming through. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say it's probably working. Oh, give another minute. TikTok stream up and we'll be good to go. Hopefully. I see there's a few of us in here already. Hope you guys had a great day. Should be fun doing some work. Hi, Randy. How you doing today, man? Oh, hopefully you guys had a good day. My chair is not very stable right now. I'll have to make do. All right, 25 seconds till we get TikTok up. Oh, I'm stressed, Randy. I've, I've had one of those work weeks, but it's all right. Ready to play some Minecraft. Definitely ready to sit back and relax. Five seconds till TikTok. Three, two, one. Alrighty. That should be microphone off. That should be sound off. Everything as the sun sets on the cathedral. Looks like we're working. You guys will have to let me know if it's coming through or not. All right, looks like, hi Paige, hi Danny. I don't know if I should be alarmed that my TikTok followers are talking about crying to start my stream off. I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. We'll see. Hi, Jaden. All right, sleepy, sleepy. Crying is fun time. I'm not crying about you. Okay, good. Hopefully only happy tears in here. Hi, Stormy. How long have I been streaming? Six minutes, not counting the five minutes for the intro. So the stream just barely started. Stream is just, just starting. Hi, Crafty. How is everybody doing today? No, it's the sad TikToks. I get the sad TikToks too. A lot of like like the dog sag TikToks lately. It's been rough. Alrighty, but I digress. Plan for the stream today is you guys see this line? I actually it's kind of hard to see from back here, and I know it's gonna be real hard to see on a phone screen. So let me see if I can land. You're gonna have to give me a couple minutes for a moment. You see how we did like this detail line right here? I didn't mirror that up top. I think I want to mirror that up top to give it a little bit more depth when we're looking at it. So like up here is super bland, so I want to repeat this like right there. And then again, right here. I think that'll give it a little bit more, you know, depth to the build. But the difference is here, I want to see how far this looks like it's, I want to say it's three in the middle, but I want to double check. So one, two, three, it gets five tall from the block. So we're gonna go down five. We're gonna need a ton of scaffolding and I did not bring any scaffolding. So I just wanna make sure. You know, we're working on the, not paying attention, there we go. I have a little bit of scaffolding. If I get a work text right as I start streaming, I'm gonna scream. Stormy, thank you for the heart, me. I appreciate it. Finally made a scaffolding. Oh, it is such a lifesaver. Alrighty. So we got, looks like one, two, three. So it's only three. Okay. So it's three down from the top pillar. So we're going to mirror that up there. First things first, need a way more scaffolding. Actually, we probably are just going to use OG scaffolding and dirt because I feel like that'll make this a lot easier than using regular scaffolding. But I should have all the materials I need to do this here. So, nope, that one's empty. This one is not. Okay. So I know I'm going to need a bunch of polished basalt. So I know I need that. Then we're going to need slabs. This question is, do I have any made? 64 is not going to be enough. We're also going to need lanterns and all that, too, so we'll have to go back and do it. Dirt, yes. Dirt is going to be the name of the game for the scaffolding. Oh, I even forgot. Hi, Hamlet. Forgot you were over here. 
All right, we do at least have some made up. Let me grab three of these. Yes, Hamlet is still around. Hamlet has not become pork chops yet. All right, so there is that. Then we're going to need... Uh, the question is, do I have... Taking a break from this project. So we have 62. Hopefully that'll be enough. Now the question is, did I craft lanterns last time we did this yet? And I have lanterns. Sweet. So that should be everything I need to do that wrap. I just need dirt. Just need it. Dirt. Two stacks. Hopefully this is enough. Yet. I'm not going to kill Hamlet. There's more to get a rise out of you guys. Alrighty, so... I fell. I fell. Yeah, so we're going to put a layer there and a layer here. So we'll see how much this takes to do. Hi, Em. How are you? These will be later on in the procedure. Alright. Going up right here. I am doing good. Happy to be back in Minecraft and streaming. Oh, I know what I forgot. You guys let me forget something. Jose, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I forgot the this block. I'm going to have to go grab some of that. Oh, we might pop a totem today. <laughs> it might be one of those streams. Alrighty. Uh, put two stacks of this back. I think I had some crafted. I did. I liked Crafty's face reveal. He has a very beautiful beard. Well, I, I I expected the beard. I didn't expect such a big beard. One, two, three. So this is the level right here. For those of you who don't know, Crafty has a huge has a solid beard. Definitely majestic, right? I was knots up. Hey, Madden, how we doing? Nope, this block. I am so out of practice in Minecraft right now. Hold on. It's almost like I, you know, take weeks off here and there. Here, this one. All right. There and there. So we're going to do this all the way around, and then we're going to come back and do the half slabs, and it looks soft. It does look soft. Probably conditions it. The question is... Yeah, so I still did those on everyone. All right. Nick, we are doing a little bit more detail work on the cathedral project. Actually, I have an idea. Hold on. Give me one second here before I answer this question about a bajillion times. Uh, it's going to be under Minecraft and RTX and new screenshots. And we'll use this one because I like this one. Apply. There we go. So when everybody asks what the cathedral looks like, that's what the cathedral looks like. <laughs> That'll be easier than answering that a thousand times. Hey, Plato. Or is Plato in here? Oh, yeah, he is in here. Hey, Plato. Hey, Beans. How we doing, guys? How is everybody today? I know. The whole TikTok community is coming together now, aren't we? Our little... TikTok community we have here. Since you have a survival, your survival is good like that. Yeah. So this is all survival, just a what some might consider too much playtime. <laughs> but it's all fun. Hi, just a normal person. How are you? Welcome to the YouTube side of the stream. Beans, how'd your stream end up? I was in there for a little bit. How'd you end? Never too much playtime. There is too much playtime. I lurk in your streams quite a bit. Oh, I'm happy to hear that, Plato. Uh, this is Bedrock Edition. So everything you see here is Bedrock. Plato, I watch your YouTube videos when they pop up. I don't think I've caught a stream in a while, though. The Hogwarts build, like, oh, I, God, it's so, so pretty. I don't have any more dirt. Okay, well, let's loop back around. Oh, you guys will find this funny. Uh, I'm not going to out them because I don't out my followers, but Stormy Page Alley, there's somebody coming for your title 
for most watched hours, and I don't think I've ever seen them comment on a stream once. They're always in here, though. Hi, Madison. I've been too busy to stream and putting all the time into my vids. Well, it shows, man. Again, that world is crazy. What am I making? I am working on uh, putting a little bit more detail work. Actually, this is wrong. Detail work into my cathedral. I realized when I was looking at it from a distance, there was certain things I wanted to add in. So it is time. I don't really have an exciting idea for today. It's just like getting these little parts done to it. So what I'm mirroring is like down here. Page and beans. Thank you guys for the heart me. I don't know why notifications aren't working again. But you can see we have like this layer of detail down here. Let's fly out for a second. So we have like this right here. I didn't match it up here. So I'm putting it in now. Wanted to get it added. Danny, thank you for the heart me. That one came through. What version? This is Bedrock version. That one guy. Yes. <laughs> this is one of those off again, on again projects I have in my world. I have a bad habit of switching. With, oh, I messed something up somewhere. I have a bad habit of switching in between a project. Do you know whose Guardian farm you built? It's my own design. So it's based off of one by Silent Whisperer on YouTube, but I put my own spin on it. That's how I like to do farms and stuff in this world. I'll watch other videos and other creators and be like, okay, so that's how the mechanics work. And then once I have the mechanics down, I will go ahead and take a shot at building it myself. I'm on whatever the most recent Minecraft update is. So Bedrock updated automatically for me. So whatever the most recent Bedrock update is the one I'm currently on. And I fell. I switched between projects as well, bro. It's what you got to do when you play so much. Yeah. The best way to avoid burnout is to just, you know, work on this, work on that, and kind of kind of balance around. You want console or PC? I started on console. This whole world, about 90% of it, was done on PS5. Uh, about a month ago, a month and a half ago, I switched to PC. Just made more sense for me to do the PC switch. And I, you know, have no regrets. I have a few too many farms that have a tendency to break things. So I was, if anybody who's been in my streams when we did like the 5,000 day world tour, the world crashed, I think four or five times. So it was a little bit of, it, it was time to invest in the PT side or PC side, but I didn't switch off bedrock. Taking a break from my K project, it was going to be too much. That's how I felt with the N project we were taking on. I know you guys liked it, and it definitely would have been super, super cool, but that's like a project like a full-time content creator takes on. The fireworks were the last draw. I, so, funny enough, Stormy, when I fly... So, I have loaded the world on my PS5 just to, you know, play around here and there. When I fly through that area, there's still fireworks sounds going off. That was like what two months ago and how many hours in the realm and there's still fireworks sounds going off over there i really don't think the world my ps5 can handle running the world anymore uh you know we'll use grass blocks why not i have so many of them good joke one guy Mm -hmm. that's great i know right it's the uh oh you'll find this funny right like i went to film the stream recap and obviously i was still over at the guardian farm uh didn't realize a creeper had walked into the nether hub went through the portal at the guardian farm blew up the portal and now my portal linking over there is all screwy so we might solve that today what am i going to put on the inside I don't know yet. We've had a bunch of different things proposed. I haven't settled on an exact plan for what's going on the inside. We were thinking about, or I was, I, I have a bad habit. People call me, I was like, I say we, like it's, there's other people in the world. It's just me in here, but I say we like me in chat. Thank you, Ray. I appreciate that. Yes, we. 
Okay, this one's done. Then here, here, and there. And you go right there. I know we're never going to see that block I just placed in there, but it still would drive me nuts if I knew there wasn't one in there. Maybe, ah, ow. Maybe a wither skeleton farm would fit the vibe. A little hard to farm wither skeletons in the overworld. Hey, Loris, how we doing? Alrighty. You know, even with the addition of scaffolding, this is scaffolding. I could do that. I already have a wither skeleton farm that works very, very well. It's possible, Kinger. I know it's possible using portals but i don't you would have to link the portals to the a fortress and there isn't a fortress where this actually there is a fortress where this portal comes out maybe is brooklyn in here hey brooklyn Alrighty, that row's done now we do this this is gonna be really fun to do on the bottom taking bets on how many times i misclick oh no this is gonna be impossible to do all right, we're gonna have to do this sideways like so speed thank you for the fault is a basalt farm a thing yes it is i have a basalt farm i did not mine all this manually i did do all the deep slate manually but there is a way on bedrock edition to insta mine deep slate so it makes it a lot easier what do i think about the mace i think the mace is really really cool i haven't watched any videos on the new updates they've made to it I heard they just released a bunch of enchantments and stuff. I really try to avoid spoilers on the new seasons of Minecraft or new... Yeah, it's seasons. They count as seasons. The new Minecraft updates so that I can kind of, you know, experience them as they come out. It's too overpowered? I don't think so. It's... I... I went to hit this button. I don't think it's overpowered. I think it's exploitable. Do you know how to... I do not... Let in. I do not know how to make the cursors. Smaller. There we go. And how do you insta-break, despray? Did I go to the gym today? I did not go to the gym today. So I have sacrificed my Thursday lift in lieu of being able to stream Minecraft. So normally I lift five to six days a week. But uh, I sacrificed my Thursday shoulder day and I'm going to make up for it on Fridays so that I can stream Minecraft. So, normally I would lift, but I have adjusted my lift schedule to stream Minecraft with you guys. You know. Balance, right? Brooklyn, thank you for the heart, me. Appreciate you. Let's see if I can keep placing these. So nice. New enchantments. Yes, yeah, so there's new enchantments for the mace itself. Kind of like how the crossbow has unique uh, enchantments. Again, I don't know what they are. I've just, you know, unfortunately scrolling through... Uh, YouTube and TikTok, they pop up. Loris with the heart me. Appreciate you. Oh, I got a question for you guys. I have been invited to be a TikTok shop creator. I have no idea what that is, but apparently it's like brands and stuff like that. I don't know if that means like merch. Does anybody know what that is? Is that a thing? I got an invite yesterday. How do you instamine deep slate? All right, give me one second. I'll show you guys. I can set up a little bit of an example over here. You can make ads for people. Ah. No, thank you. You'll be able to post videos with ads and you get money for clicks. Ah. Yeah, nah. We're good. It's basically promoting bad products to your audience. That's more or less what I figured. It's like TikTok shop stuff, right? No, thanks. If I ever promote anything, it'll be only something I trust. All right, so let's teach you guys how to instamine Deep Slate real quick. How do you get the netherite tools? Netherite upgrades and just many, many hours of playtime? All right, Deep Slate. We need to set ourselves up with a situation to demonstrate. Uh, come on, I gotta. I leave stuff everywhere. There's no way I haven't left some somewhere. Ah, there we go. So let's go activate, actually, there should be one underneath here. Break. All right. Which, are you activated? Strength two. 
You have resist or you have regen on. You have resistance on. Which one of you is not activated? You're not. Okay. Okay. We now have haste in this area. Here's the real question. There we go. Nailed it. How big is the cathedral? So if you look at the picture at the bottom of the screen, that's the cathedral. <laughs> anyway, so this is cobbled deep slate. It has the same breaking probabilities as regular deep slate. So if you just... Hold on, it's a bad spot to do it. But... So there's an interesting Minecraft mechanic that allows you to mine faster at the apex of your swing. So if you're right up against deep slate, even with... Ah, wrong button. Haste 2 and... Ah, wrong button again. And an efficiency 5 pickaxe. This is as fast as you can mine it. So it's pretty quick, right? But it's nothing special. If you get to the max apex of your swing, like back here, and you run forward, you insta-mine just like that. And you can do it in strips. So, like, right at the apex of my swing... Hold on, I gotta... It's hard to set up, but once you find your spot, you can do stuff just like that and insta-mine it. There's a video somewhere on my TikTok account explaining how to do it better, but that's really what it boils down to. So you get a whole strip of deep slate just like this. You find the apex of your swing, which should be about five blocks, so right here, and sprint forward, and it allows you to insta-mine the deep slate. Mark, thank you for the follow. Philo, thank you for the follow. That's only on Bedrock, and it's only if you have a Haste 2 beacon and an Efficiency 5 pickaxe. But you can set yourself up a super, super easy way to insta-mine a whole bunch of Deep Slate. You need to get off your For You page. <laughs> I appreciate it. Now, before I fly back up there, I'm going to wait for it to be day. But just for size to show it off, the Cathedral's coming right along. Five and a half blocks. So it's a little hard to picture on the screen, but it's getting there. Again, if you guys want to see what it looks like in RTX, it's what's at the bottom of the screen. Chandler, thank you for the follow. How do you make a beacon? Uh, it's a nether star, glass, and obsidian. And then you put it on a, uh, like, pyramid of blocks. So these are six beacons. There's one over there and one over here. That way, when this build is done, I'll be able to have max beacon. I dropped one down into there, didn't I? I'll be able to have max beacon enchants while I'm at my little base area. All right, here's the trick. Nailed it. Ah, nailed it. I got that one slipped out. That's one for you, Stormy. Unless I've already dropped and nailed it. Sleep. Sleep, sleep. There we go. Do you make money from TikTok? I don't make any money from TikTok. Not a drop. I do have subs enabled. That's it's the bare minimum sub package, and it's just so that I could get my followers custom emotes and stuff like that. It's going good, Pablo. Unpopular Minecraft needs to add seasons. Uh, so they kind of do. If you go into a taiga biome when it's snowing on Minecraft Bedrock, it actually turns all the leaves to snowy leaves. So they're kind of already are, but it's a balance. Why am I building that? Why not? It's really what this world boils down to a lot of the time. It's like, why not build this? Do you not make anything off of gifts? So I do and I don't. What you guys donate on gifts, usually I give out to other creators. So whatever you guys donate on gifts, I take those coins and I'll find other people who are streaming Minecraft and stuff like that. I'll watch them for a little while and if they're wholesome or like entertaining, something like that, I'll spread out the love that you guys show me. So again, I don't, I'm not looking to make any sort of money off TikTok. This isn't a full-time job. It's just a hobby for me. So if anything, you guys are enabling, helping me give back to the community here ow, ow, on TikTok. Am I going to turn it into something? So this is going to be... We don't really know yet. I guess I don't have an answer on what we're going to do. Hold on. Work text. What? Sorry. Work text. Fun text. Loose Wire. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. What other cool builds do you have? I have a lot, I think. Uh, I just did a 6,000 day world tour. It's, it's available over on YouTube. You're more than welcome to check it out. GG and Jacob, thank you guys for the follow. Did I finish the farm? I did. The farm is done. Uh, I got to do a little bit more decorating, and I accidentally blew up the linked portal. 
that was over there. So I got to relink the nether portal that's over there. But the farm itself is... I just... I'm glad we don't have a fall counter on tonight's stream. Because this is going to be brutal. But, uh... Yes, so the farm is done. It needs to be a little bit prettier. But the farm itself is running. So there's no... Nothing more to do to it for now. Gravity is my worst enemy. It really is. Z, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. You have no idea how important Feather Falling 4 is <laughs> to me in this world. What kind of block is the one you're putting the slab? So this is polished basalt. So you have regular basalt and then polished basalt. And you can make that and it's a really, really pretty gray palette block. Ulysses, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hi, EC. How are we doing? You are good. So some people join and they think it's like a petrified wood, but it's just uh, it's just basalt. It came out in the nether update. And then we go around and do this. This is the next step. Why am I not crouching? Why not? I could crouch, but that makes it too easy. I'd prefer to jump around and take fall damage constantly. Thank you, Nick. I appreciate that. I hate placing scaffolding on bedrock. I hate how you can place scaffolding in front of you. It is nice. Scaffolding super great to use, but you can't really play, replace good old-fashioned dirt. How long have I been working on this? I do have Swift Sneak. How long have I been working on this project? So I work on this project off and on. Uh, it sat unfinished for about six months. I probably picked it up four or five weeks ago to put more work into it. This is one of those major projects I have in my world that would definitely burn me out if I sat down and just did it all at once. That way it's, that's why it's really important for me to, you know, balance things around like building a new guardian farm or working on the tunnels, stuff like that. Do I place this on, do I place them on or, yeah, I place them on top. So I break up the monotonous grind of building big projects like this by, you know, working on other ones in the world. What is the project? Mm about and would you do more projects so i have a i have over six thousand days in this world this is probably the biggest single build i have but i've done some crazy other stuff like i have all the beacons i don't have a netherite beacon but i've got gold iron diamond and emerald i've got a farm for almost every single item in the game i've collected almost every single item in the game i'm work, going to be working on a warden farm here at some point what do you plan on doing this page since it's just a hobby just having fun with it right like just kind of vibing so i kind of lucked myself into this whole streaming thing i, I really didn't make plans on it i kind of just liked uploading clips here and there of like apex and call of duty and stuff like that all bunch of games i play and then one day i uploaded a minecraft video it did pretty well and i'm like ah cool maybe you know i'll upload some minecraft stuff you know people seem to like my builds and my nice little memes and stuff like that so started uploading that then tiktok sent me he's like hey do you want to be a trial tester for live studio i'm like sure i'll try live studio and then i just started streaming one day and the community i found on here has been absolutely absolutely amazing and on youtube as well so it's just you know i'm never expecting to go full time or make any money off this i'm just you know hanging out having a good time i was gonna play minecraft regardless if i was streaming or not so lanes thank you for the follow welcome welcome did I build it in the middle of nowhere? So originally, this was supposed to be my main base when I started this project. But I kind of, you know, left it unfinished for a while. Ended up building a new main base. And now this kind of is in the middle of nowhere because I never did anything with it. But I refused. I love that. How many years has the fake fall damage bug been in Bedrock? For those of you who don't know, fun bug in Bedrock if you're like standing on a block and you break it right as you move to another block, there's a chance of taking fall damage, which is exactly what just happened to me right there. Sneezer, Joel, Peyton, Emily, and Brisket. Thank you guys for the follow. Welcome, welcome. How do you choose where to make your builds? I kind of just look around and I found this. I found this area and I'm like, oh, this is a real... Because I was originally planning to terraform everything around this build and I found this huge flat area. And I went, okay, this is where I'm going to build it because there's so much space here. I don't have to cut down a bunch of trees. I don't have to cut down a mountain. I can just, you know, work on my project and build into the sky. Hi, Slick. How are we doing? I also suffocate sometimes in standing on land. Yeah, so it's the same weird thing. How was my day? I'm doing all right. 
Why Minecraft Bedrock? So I've played Minecraft since the Alpha Edition came out. I used to play on this really, really beat up old PC or this old like laptop. And then uh, Minecraft, I think it was like 2013, Minecraft came out on PS3. So I switched to playing Minecraft on PS3. And then that's been my predominant gaming pl platform ever since. So PS3 to PS4, and then the PS4 version, the console edition or legacy edition became uh, Bedrock during the Better Together update. So I've played Minecraft Bedrock since the Better Together update. And I just, when I switched to PC, this is just the version I know best. Also, I kind of like the community of it because there's not a lot of, you know, content creators, I guess. I've been told I have to consider myself one now because I, yeah. But there's not a lot of us who play Bedrock Minecraft, which is kind of cool because if you're on, you know, Switch or Xbox or PlayStation or your phone or your tablet, anything like that, everything I do in this world, it's the same version. And you can, uh, you can everything I'm doing here, you guys can do on your, your personal stuff. Because you create content. I know. I've I know. I've stopped the argument. Can I do a fly around? So the image at the bottom of the screen, that's the whole build on RTX. Most satisfying build? I don't know. I really like my uh, end portal. Yeah, I like that we added in that row right there. It mirrors this, and it gives it that nice little bit of detail. I'm going to do the same one there and the same one there. I think that evens it out a little bit better. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's hard to grasp the scale of it when I'm standing on top of it. I still think my favorite way to look at it is down here, though. Like, this little island right here is probably my favorite spot to look up at it. Again, so actually, if you couldn't tell, the RTX image from the bottom, this is the same angle. <laughs> the end portal was your first ever stream? Oh, that's nice, Paige. I feel like it should have been taller. I know, it's only... Hold on. It's only... 260-ish blocks tall. Only. Hey, PA, how we doing, man? You said it was a cathedral. Make the interior cathedral. We haven't decided on that. Taco, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, so I like this little change you made right here. I'm going to do the same one right there. Also, it's about to be nighttime. I don't play with any mods, add-ons, nothing. The only thing I do use is every once in a while, I'll load my world in, uh, I'll make a copy of my world and load it in RTX to take screenshots. Carson, are, I think so. I have a hard time remembering everybody. There's so many of you guys now, but I appreciate all of you. Tatum, thank you for the follow. Lucas, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Vlad, thank you for the follow. It reminds me of the Zack and Cody Tipton Tower. Oh, I haven't watched Zack and Cody in years. Let me sleep. It's almost nighttime, game. Let me sleep. How long have I had the world? So the world is a little over two years and two months old. No, yeah, we'll say two years, two months, and I have a little over 6,000 days. Sleep. You're on a realm, right? Yes. I'm on a realm solely because I want to be able to play on multiple devices. So I'm, I'm kind of a Minecraft nerd if the huge project didn't cue you guys in. But one of my favorite things is if I'm, like, bored, I can uh, log in to my phone and actually join this world from my phone. So I can run around in here on my phone when I want to. This is all survival Minecraft. How long did it take me to build this? Too long. This has been... A several stream project going back like six months, but I, I take huge chunks of time off working on it because this this will burn me out. How good is Chick-fil-A? I have never had Chick-fil-A. Angel, thank you for the follow. Jeremiah, thank you for the follow. What's my YouTube? It's it's Kinger IV. Same as the uh, same as the page. There's a link in my bio. PA is PA10. PA, do you have two accounts? Praise uh, Taman. Thank you guys for follow. Sebastian, thank you for the follow. You should build a carousel, maybe. Uh, let's see. Three down. So one, two, three. Here. So let's not make the same mistake and go one, two lower so that it's easier to place blocks this time. Let's do our wrap of dirt first. Sebastian, Dustin, thank you guys for the follow. Welcome, welcome. 
Matt, thank you for the follow. I'm getting a gaming PC. What are some good games? Uh, I only... Well, I have two games on PC. So I play on PS5 mostly. I have Pal World and I have Minecraft on my PC. But I've also been playing a ton of Dragon's Dogma 2, but I have that on PS5. I have never had Chick-fil-A. Nah, someone's just calling me that for some reason. I don't know. I have never had Chick-fil-A. Nope. A good way to get ideas for build is to give them lore. I don't know, man. I, I, you guys are more than welcome to give my world lore. I, <laughs> I won't argue that I have more named mobs in the last two months than I think I've ever named or ever named in a game ever. I'm on Bedrock Edition headphones. Do you only stream on TikTok? I stream on TikTok and YouTube simultaneously. So there's always a split stream between the two. So if you ever miss one, you're able to go back and watch it back on YouTube. Just makes those, not everybody can make the lives. And I have some awesome community members who are from like Australia and New Zealand and stuff like that. So when I'm live over here, it's tends to be the middle of the night for them or very early in the morning. So I created the YouTube channel so that they could watch over there when they, you know, get off work and stuff like that. So I wish I could interact with them more, but that's kind of the best of what I can do. This build is really coming on. Thank you. I'm on Bedrock Edition. What is your favorite game? I bet you can guess. <laughs> Bedrock Edition. There and there. What do I do for work? So I am a work systems facilitator for a pharmaceutical and, and nutritional manufacturing company. I do corporate project management. So it's, it's extremely boring unless you're good at it, which I am. So it makes it very enjoyable to do. Of course I've played Call of Duty. I've played all of the CODs since uh, Call of Duty 3. Call of Duty 3 was my first Call of Duty. I've played every one since. Sem, yes. Hi, Dan. What a good creeper farm for Bedrock. I would not make a creeper farm. I really wouldn't. Uh, the best creeper farm for Bedrock is just a general mob farm that takes advantage of uh, pack spawning in Minecraft. Black up to... What do you do? What's... So it's corporate project management. My, basically, my job is to go to these manufacturing sites and implement uh, programs, processes, uh, HR hierarchies, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, basically whatever the corporate structure is asking for. Them. So right now, I'm doing a data analytics project at a manufacturing company that makes baby formula. John, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Basically measuring OEE throughput and stuff like that. Your availability, quality, and performance buckets. And, you know, downtime and, and the such. Anybody who's worked in a manufacturing environment, basically putting in, like, a program like Dashboard, but not Dashboard. If anybody's used Dashboard, it's not like Dashboard. It's better. <laughs> what are your hobbies? So, I lift pretty much full-time. Uh... So streaming comes in third for hobbies. My first real commitment is like family tied and being outside. Like I have a you know Jeep and I like overlanding and hunting and hiking and stuff like that. And then when I'm not doing that or and then my motorcycle, when I'm not doing that, I'm usually at the gym. And then anytime I have beyond that, I play games and really playing video games has turned into streaming Minecraft, but no regrets. How long have I been live for today? I've been live for 42 minutes and 58 seconds. <laughs> Barely. I have a 2010 Honda State Line 1300. And I have it lowered. Uh, I took the springs out the back so it's lower. And lowered it, stretched it, and uh, painted the headers black. So she's my baby. How long have I live for? Uh, until I get tired. So I always stream on Thursdays and Sundays. That's that's my promise. You know, there's always going to be a stream on Thursdays and Sundays unless, you know, like I'm out of town for work or something like that. And I do work Fridays, but I don't work till 8 a.m. So usually I can do two to three hours on Thursday nights. Sundays are usually my long streams. How fast has I gone? So it's a heavy bike. 
So if any of you look it up, it's not like a sports bike. It is a 13, so it's 1300 cc's, but it's a, uh, you know, like, it's not a Harley because that's a kind of bike, but it's a full stretch chopper. So she's heavy. She's 700 pounds. It's a cruiser. It's not built for speed. But she's got, you know, painted headers, wolf pipes, LED headlights, uh, custom embroidered seat. She's my baby. <laughs> Gotta spend my money on something. Go away. Hey! Go away. Do you have your own gunpowder farm from the general farm? Yes. So, sorry, I kind of got off your creeper farm question. So, I don't use as much... God. I'm really, really glad we don't have a fall counter going. Hold on. Sorry, I'm getting work texts when I clocked out an hour ago. <laughs> no kids. It is just me, myself, and I. I am a single Pringle with no kids. So do you get your gunpowder from the... Yes. So my general mob farm supplies me with all the gunpowder I'll ever need. That being said, I am the only one in here. So if you're having a... Uh, gun Creeper farms are good, but I would always recommend building a general mob farm because you can take advantage of pack spawning and you'll also get drops like bones and string and you don't really need zombie flesh unless you're doing villager trading. But having just the source of bones as well is super, super helpful in a survival world. Da -da -da, I have a joke. Da -da 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 -da. I shall start one. Uh-oh. I don't know what Stormy's starting because I can't... I have a joke with my friend on Wandering Trader Spawns. We call it free leads. Yes. That's, I have a tendency to call them free leads as well. I, need, I do need to build a Wandering Trader farm. It's on the list. Biggest, biggest lifting tip you can get for someone who's extremely consistent in the gym for a while. Do not compare yourself to others. I see guys bigger than me and people smaller than me. And all they do is compare themselves to other people. Everyone's fitness journey is different. If you measure yourself by the uh, progress somebody else is making, you're never going to feel good about uh, how you're doing yourself. The only person you should be comparing yourself to in the gym is the person you were yesterday. That is the biggest uh, recommendation I can give or anybody getting into the gym. Bruh, we might need a fall counter because this is getting brutal. Hope all is well. Things are going great, Dan. Hope you're doing good too, man. Interesting to see you in a Minecraft stream. I appreciate you stopping in. That's a blast from the past. One fall. <laughs> There's going to be a few. But Stormy, that's one. Did I swear? I don't... Oh, I swore, didn't I? I'll keep count. Okay, I appreciate it. What did you go to college for? I went for business administrative management. But I really fell in love with operations management when I was there. So that's kind of what my job entails more. It's managing people and operations, which is really what I like doing. You know a good video for a general farm? If you're on Bedrock Edition and you ever want tutorials, you need to look up Silent Whisperer or JC Plays. They're both great. JC Plays farms are a little bit more simplistic, but they all work. Silent's a little bit more on like the technical side, but they're both great. Hey, Francesca. The whole gang, the only one we're missing from the, the regulars right now is, uh, oh my gosh, I can't, J uh, Jesse, Jesse and Allie both aren't here. I was going to get really mad at myself if I couldn't remember two of my subs. Hi, Francesca, how are you? Hey, ch -ch -ch -ch. Ye Ali, yes, Ye isn't here. Ye has been really slacking on the streams lately repeats too now that i think about it hi diego hi tito babo thank you for the follow appreciate it if i missed anybody's follows welcome i appreciate you all i'm trying to play minecraft and keep up with chat as best i can how big is the world uh it's a little over a gigabyte in size at this point so i have a little over six thousand days actually i'm probably like 6200 up by now because we've been doing some afk with the guardian farm so we might be over good afternoon Thank you. Hi, Sumteen. How are you doing? 
First time in Campbell Map YP, can I get a full view of the cathedral? Tony, the screenshot at the bottom is the full view, but I'll fly out in a second now that I put the new layer of lights on. So just let me get rid of this dirt so it's not obstructing our view. Counter thing of the follow. Have I ever made a moving airplane? I have not. Not in Minecraft. I built models in high school with a friend. We My friends started around. Hope you get to this point. And just. Yep. Oh, I left the scaffolding there. But yeah, this is what it looks like when you fly out. I definitely like the layer, adding that layer of detail right there. And I think it's going to look good up top, too. Do I stream on Twitch? I do not like Twitch. I stream on YouTube and TikTok, and that's it. So if you ever miss a stream here, they're always saved over on YouTube. I think Twitch is extremely predatory on their viewers and content creators, so I don't stream on Twitch. Jesse, thank you for the follow. Nate, thank you for the follow. Connor, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I appreciate it. We're it is coming along. I definitely need more fireworks though. When did I start playing Minecraft? I've been playing Minecraft since it came out on Alpha Edition. My YouTube is it's Kinger IV, same as the YouTube page, same logo, same all that stuff. And there should be a link in my bio. Do I post my VODs to YouTube? I always split my streams with YouTube, so if you ever miss a live here, the entire live is saved over on YouTube. Like I kind of explained earlier in the stream is I have some followers on here who are from like Australia and New, New Zealand and like actually even some in Europe. So their times are very different than my times. So I always stream to YouTube so that they can watch the stream back so that they can be a part of it. Abigail, thank you for the follow. Carson, thank you for the follow. Cock, thank you for the follows. I think I pronounced that right. All gone. Are you doing what you wanted since you were a kid? I don't think young me would have ever thought I'd be doing the job I do now. But the job I do now allows me to buy all the toys I wanted as a kid. So, yes and no. Fair. Lackey, thank you for the follow. Like, my job might be stressful and not every day's fun, but it also allows me to pay all my bills and, and, you know, not worry too, too much. So, Avery, I do corporate project management for a pharmaceutical and nutritional manufacturing company. I wanted to be a chef. That's noble. You must like food. I love food. What stage in the game would you recommend a raid farm? Hmm... Well, I'll tell you right now, I'd build it now because apparently they're nerfing the hell out of raid farms soon. So, let's see. I built my raid farm, I think, right after. So, I defeated the Ender Dragon, got my Elytra. I already had my... I did villagers first. And once I had my villagers, that's when I did my raid farm because I needed a bunch of emeralds. So, I would say after you have your villager and enchant set up. Hey, Blaze. The inside is completely empty. I have put nothing in it yet. <laughs> so the inside is extremely barren. The only thing that's on the inside is I did put an infinity ceiling in. That's the only thing I've done, and I didn't even finish the sides. The world is a little over two years old, and I have a little over 6,000 in-game days. So I don't know what they're doing to raid farms because all I saw was the uh, cover art for Silence Whisperer's video saying raid farms are dead. So I don't know what they're changing, but if he's if he's saying they're dead, I trust that they're they're gonna be nerfed. Let's let's be fair. Raid farms are pretty overpowered if you build one right. I want to be a content creator, but I also want to be a physicist. Are you talking like like physicists like Sheldon Cooper on The Big Bang or like? a physician like a doctor did i mine a i did not mine all of these blocks a lot of them are farmed i did mine all of deep slate but all the prismarine like stuff for the lanterns all of the polished basalt all that stuff that's all farmed so that's just afk farming stuff but yes that kind sorry i, I didn't know any famous physicists besides you know the big bang theory you, you make but yeah that's cool go for it man Alrighty. One last wrap right here. Where's my scaffolding? There's my scaffolding. Is this a... Eh, it is. Lucky me. 
Something made a noise. Anthony, thank you for subbing over on YouTube. Welcome to the YouTube side of the stream. One, two, three. Here. And then this. And then down two. And then crap. What will this building be? I think it's gonna be a zoo. I don't ha I don't know. We're gonna stick a bunch of mobs in it. I'm really just building it because it's pretty and I wanted a big pretty build in my world. Zach, Micah, thank you guys for the follows. Welcome, welcome. Like, I'm not much, like, <laughs> it's hard to say because I'm not much of a builder in this game. I really like the technical side of Minecraft. I like building crazy farms and solving, like, technical issues. So, building is not my strong suit. So, this is kind of me going way outside of my comfort area in Minecraft to build something. Do you watch Hermitcraft? Yes, I watch Hermitcraft. I am so behind on this season, though. It's not even funny. I am crazy behind on Hermitcraft. Like, what? This season right now. I just don't have time. Like, normally, like... So, I work, obviously. Work full-time. And then when I'm not at work, I'm lifting. So, all of my, like, gaming time and, like, time to watch YouTube and, you know, lazy out has been consumed by streaming, which... Not complaining. Love doing this with you guys. Really, really do. But I don't have time to, like, sit down and binge watch YouTube videos anymore. I fell. Kyra, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Or thank you for the heart bear. Hi, bear. Appreciate you. Hi, Peyton. Dale, thank you, man. Grown man watching Hermitcraft. Hey, man. It's grown men playing Hermitcraft. There's nothing wrong with watching Hermitcraft. Where's full screen? Oh, yeah. So TikTok did away with compatibility mode. So no more full screen on TikTok. Love that. Yeah, no more. It made too much sense to have compatibility mode. So naturally, TikTok had to take it away. Your cathedral looks like a bigger version of Mumbo's base last season. I don't remember Mumbo's base last season. I get more compliment. It was like green season eight. 8 base is what I get more often than not. What's my bench? So my best press is 455, but I haven't done anything over 425 in like the last six months. So I'm a little bit behind where I want to be right now. Just be hating my fault. You're good. How do you get the stream key to work? Uh, so this is TikTok Live Studio. I don't have a stream key. I'm just using the application they sent me. So I don't I don't do anything special. I just do what TikTok sent me to use. Again, this is like totally like a luck thing streaming. I have no plans or no setup to really do this. I've just kind of rolled it out. I had a good enough PC and setup that I could stream. And then I never expected it to like take off. And I really never expected the community I've built on here to be as awesome as they were. So, this whole streaming thing, I'm kind of just taking it one day at a time. Thank you, French. I appreciate that, man. I've been doing this for a while. Timmy, thank you for the follow. Gorilla, thank you for the follow. Dale, thank you for the follow. Rusty, thank you for the follow. Aiden, thank you for the follow. Hey, Flacco, how we doing? If I've missed anybody's follows, welcome, welcome. Here and here. Flacco, thank you for the heartbeat, man. Appreciate you. Alrighty. Hi, Rico. Ryan, Blazing Guns. Trevor, thank you guys for the follow. Welcome. Welcome back, Carson. What am I building? I am adding a bunch of detail work to the cathedral. Because I didn't like that there wasn't a lot of detail work with the top part. So I'm adding in these little bit of layers. Sage, Wyatt, and Skull, thank you for the follows. So adding in a little bit more detail to the outside of the cathedral. And then I want to see what it looks like. World Tour, there's a World Tour available over on YouTube. There should be a link at the top of my page on TikTok where you can go straight to it. Or if you search It's King or IV on YouTube, I'll pop right up and then my world tour is in there somewhere. There's one for 6,000 days and there's one for 5,000 days. Will I be streaming tomorrow? I don't know. My only days that I plan for streams are Thursdays and Sundays. 
I, so I don't know if I'll be live tomorrow. It depends on work and life stuff. Is it easy to read comments while you build? Anybody who's been here for a while knows I'm learning. <laughs> so I'm still... I do my best to read as many comments as I can. What's your YouTube? It's it's King or Ivy. Gravity 5. I didn't fall there. I didn't fall. I purposely fell to come down here. No, no that wasn't in a gravity. Hi, Sierra. Well, if you do, I'll definitely be watching. I appreciate that. You definitely have gotten better. Thank you, Paige. One of my biggest pet peeves is... I'll, uh, I'll be, you know, because I scroll through TikTok a lot, probably more than I should. And one of my biggest pet peeves is people who stream on here and then don't talk to their chat. Because that's like the whole point of streaming, isn't it? To interact with your community. It bugs me when people don't. Nothing is inside yet. Have not done anything with the interior just yet. Sergio, thank you for the follow. Yeah, I like that much better. So for anybody who's just joining us, we d I just put these three lines in right here to mirror the lines I did down there. I think that looks much better that way. Adds a little bit more detail to the top. Make sure to save or copy the world. I make a world backup once a month. I, <laughs> I back it up constantly. I'm kind of waiting for it to be night because I want to see what it looks like with it all like glowing. How long did this build take? I uh, I don't know. Somebody can go back and watch the total amount of live time I've spent on this and add it up. I think this first part right here, probably about 20 hours. And then I probably have another 20 hours in live streams doing this part. So probably about 40 hours for the whole project spread out over a few different months. I was excited to watch you live today because I find them entertaining because you reply to us. I do my best. What do I play on? About 95% of this world was done on PS5, and then about a month ago, I switched to PC. Oh, Mr. Crafty, his beard, did you guys see his beard? Oh, I, have his, I did not expect Mr. Crafty to have such a big, beautiful beard. I, I knew he was going to have one because of the profile pic. I was not ready for like the pure like lumberjack beard he had. Yeah, so I like it. There's like these dark... My one complaint is on the diagonals, I don't have a really good way to light them up. So it kind of looks faded. But it definitely looks more detailed up top. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Beacon at the top? I would, right? The only problem with beacons in Bedrock is you can only see them from 64 blocks away. So I have beacons right here. But until I get right up next to them, you can't even see them. So it, it doesn't really make sense putting a beacon through the top. But as far as the inside goes, the inside is completely unfinished. Like, I have not done anything in here. Sleep. Why are so many people posting their faces? Mm. Look how pretty it looks. It does look pretty. But I think... Yeah, we'll see. Thank you, Carson. I appreciate that. Do not put a beacon at the top. Benzo, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Whose mob farm do you recommend? Uh, de de how involved do you want to go in a mob farm, Elijah? French fries, thank you very much. How involved do you want to go with a Minecraft project? The beacon would ruin it. Uh, this one and this. This. There we go. How involved do you want to go with your mob farm before I answer you? Nope. I'm very happy with it. Beacon would ruin it. I agree. So here's the question. Is this hardcore? It is not. This is all survival, but it is not hardcore mode. I'm on bedrock. There is no hardcore mode yet on bedrock edition. I don't know what more I can do to the outside. I'm pretty happy with how the outsides come out. But I also have no idea what to do with the inside. <laughs> Doodle, the biggest recommendation I can ever give you is 
some people play this game way too much. I'm some people. Whatever your base is, I'm sure it's awesome. And it's raining. But yeah, I don't know what more I can do to add detail to the outside. I think it's pretty much done on the outside. Now I guess the task is doing the inside, but I have no idea how to do the inside on this. I fell. Also, you can only count falls against me if I take fall damage. Honestly, May looks great anymore. It would become too busy. I know, right? It's like the right level. Any mob farm recommendations? I need a good farm for Bedrock. Silent Whisperer. Look up Silent Whisperer's mob farm. Base it off of that. You don't need to go as involved as his is if you're not ready for it. Scaffolding on platforms with water is the best Bedrock mob farm. And you can build it to any scale. Doodle, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Windows. I don't want to do windows because I like the blacked out look. I really think it's time to start the interior, and I really don't. It's just going to be... Also, you know your build's fun when there's a fog effect looking on the other side of it. The next part of this build is just going to be putting up all of the stone brick. And it's going to be so much stone brick. Silent Whisperer's uh, mob farm. He has a crazy, crazy involved mob farm, but really just... Building yourself a mob farm using uh, scaffolding and water streams is the easiest way to do it. Hold on. Let, I'll take you guys to one of my mob farms that I think is very easy to build. That you guys, depending on how, in, I'll show you two different mob farms. I'll show you a crazy one and I'll show you a, like, normal one. So that you guys can get a better picture of what I'm recommending. Just let me put my stuff away. I do, uh, Sky, I have two Guardian Farms. Actually, the last few live streams have been me building a Guardian Farm. So yeah, let me take you guys to two different mob farms, and then I'll show you what I'm getting at. I'll show the <laughs> how long I've been playing this world. I have a little over 6,100 days, and I've been playing in the world for a little over two years. Oh, I'm falling through the world. Ow. Well, I'm here. This is where I'm meant to go anyway. And up we go. So, really, this is about as involved as you need to get a mob farm, right? I had a face scan. Sam, thank you for the follow. So, you can set yourself up a mob farm that kind of looks like this. Where you just put scaffolding blocks on top of solid blocks with a water stream on top of it. Because on Bedrock Edition, Bedrock, not Java, so don't build this on Java, Bedrock or scaffolding blocks are considered air blocks. So basically mobs will spawn on these platforms, get pushed by the water, get down in there, and then they just die from fall damage. All of this is survival. So this is my industrial area. I have over... This is like my main farming area there's over 30 farms in this area so that's a small version of this mob farm design now if you want to build it on a crazy scale i'll show you what the crazy scale looks like too hi thank you for the follow welcome welcome sam i don't know if i caught it earlier or taylor's version thank you for the follow loris it depends on your involvement so i'm giving you both ends of the uh spectrum on farms to build so if you think that's at your level, you can build that level, and then I'll show you what probably overkill looks like. Sky, Snowflake, thank you guys for the follow. Welcome, welcome. This farm is what overkill looks like. All of this is in Bedrock. Yes, all of this up until the last month was on a PS5. Overkill is always better. So this, this farm is overkill. <laughs> I'm on Java with the Create Mod. So these farms won't work on Bedrock. If you want a beast, this is a beast right here. So this farm does about 16,000 drops an hour. And it just takes that mechanic. So they're both running. Okay, good. I'm doing good, Tyler. Let me 
show you right here. This farm is much more involved, and it takes the scaffolding mechanic, basically, and cranks it up to 10. So these are platforms with scaffolding and water streams on top of them that push them down into the middle into dual trident killers. So this is a much more involved version of that smaller farm I showed you guys, but this does about 16,000 drops an hour, and it is based on Silent Whisperer's design. It's not his exact design because I don't like copying other creators. I like putting my own twist on things. So I put my own spin on this. So instead of using chunk borders, I just use pure pack spawns. So this will do about 16,000 drops an hour. I mean, I use it for all of my bones and gunpowder. This is why I recommend building, you know, mob farms and not, you know, creeper farms. Because this farm absolutely, you know, rinses through bones and gunpowder. Drifter, I appreciate you asking. This is a single player world. I'm the only one in here. And then I guess I count this as like my eight and a half iron farm because this does give me iron too, which is funny. How far do you recommend for an AFK point? So I don't know how many blocks this is. I think it's 32 from the center. Or So in Bedrock, you have a four chunk spawning radius. So that's 32, 64. So I'm 32 away, I'm half of that, so that this whole farm can be loaded in at once, which allows me to get the maximum rates. The real iron farm, so I have eight of them. There's actually one real close to here, so we'll just go to that. Are the trophies on? They are, but I'm not on PS5 anymore. Oh, there's an iron golem spawning right now. And I fell. Can I make it? Yes. So this is my nice little compact iron farm. It's my own design. If you want to build your own, it's available over on YouTube. The one and only YouTube tutorial I have is building this right here. Mason, Max, uh, Carr, Jace, Tyler, and Sappy, thank you very much for the follows. Welcome home. I can't find a good C, dude. I'm so upset. Keep randomizing him. The recommendations for finding a good seed is do a few random ones and then just go for it. David Dot, thank you for the follow. Sam, I appreciate you asking, but it's only a single player world. Hugo, thank you for the follow. But yeah, so here's the iron farm. Super compact design, very easy to build, easy on the resources. Not the fastest farm in the world, but again, it's very easy to build, very simple to get. And you can, if you want a tutorial on this, it's my one and only YouTube video tutorial on that. I do. I meant to be asleep 30 minutes ago, but your streams are addictive. I appreciate that, Lumo. Don't lose some sleep over me. Also, way it's doodle. It's, oh, okay. Dude, I get it now. I just joined and I was curious how long have I played in this world or Minecraft in general? Mando, thank you for the follow. Can we see your fastest iron farm? I mean, they're all that exact same design. I don't have any stacked farms. Hi, Leo. Why is your membership frozen? So you have, so Shelvis, it's because you probably haven't, gifted a i think it's a heart me what tiktok requires in over a month ow i was not paying attention uh this way how close was the nether fortress for you so where's spawn where's the portal for spawn do 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 do, do. so here for example here is the spawn portal. This connects to my spawn area. And my nearest nether fortress was right here because this is the underside of my wither skeleton farm. So it's pretty close. And funny enough, uh, where the cathedral is, what we've been working on today, is actually another nether fortress. So all the way down here. Believe it or not, above that portal right there, which is the doorway portal, is another nether fortress. Hi, Axel. What am I up to today? We've been working on the cathedral. We took a little break there to look at mob farms. Best way to see caves in Bedrocks, because job, huh? I don't, I don't know what your question is, user. Alrighty. The rain finally stopped. Alrighty. I don't think I can do... I have an ancient city below spawn world. That's nice. I have raided eight or nine ancient cities, and I still haven't found Silent, and I'm about to give up. How long have I played Minecraft, and also how long have you had the world? So, Tyler, I've played Minecraft since the alpha came out, which is like 13 years at this point. 
I have not played the Hermitcraft Season 9 world. Uh, and I've had this world for a little over two years. Gladiator, thank you for the follow. Alrighty. Silent is so easy. <laughs> the luck here. You guys are lucky. I hate it. I have not had uh, any luck finding Silent. Or silence is the armor trim I'm missing. Love from Belfast. Greasy, you might be the farthest one away today. Have you tried looking for an ancient city under mountains? So yeah, so that's what I do, Blaze, is I will fly around my world. I find a mountain biome. I look underneath it for an ancient city. I have raided, like I said, eight or nine, and I have yet to find silence. Do you have any tips to get better at Minecraft? I have eight diamond. What do you think I should do? Just play. Minecraft is one of those games that it gets easier the longer you play. Also... It's finally time to start working on the interior. I don't I don't want to, but there's like a lighting glitch right here. I look so pretty. Have I duped? Uh, just gravity blocks. So I used to use a gravity block duplicator, but I've never done like shulker box duplication or anything like that. I don't, I, I feel like that breaks the spirit of Minecraft. Thanks, Gladiator. Appreciate that, man. Uh, recommendations on big projects don't do them all at once take your time there's no reason to speed through them if you try to do an entire big build in one sitting you're gonna burn yourself out there is no feasible reason to sit there and force yourself to do one big project straight through and through anybody would burn out doing that That's the best way I can say it. You only fell a couple times. I fell a lot. Since you mentioned the Discord. I don't know how to pronounce your name, but thank you for the follow. TikTok Live Studio makes it very hard to read people's names sometimes. Yeah, just give me all this. Lily and Lucas, thank you for the follow. It took me six sittings, drain an ocean monument, and remove all the interior. That's always fun. Hunter, Phil, Swerve, and Homie, thank you guys for the follows. Welcome, welcome. All right, we'll see how much this stone gets me for now. Thank you, Tyler. I appreciate that. What did I miss while I was gone? I'm sorry you had surgery, Madden. I'm, hopefully it's going well. Now my ocean monument is nothing but a shell. Draining ocean monuments is fun. So all I've done so far on stream is I added new uh, detail lines to the top of the cathedral. So just added a little bit more detail. What should I build for a server of three? Uh, iron farms. Iron farms are the most important farm in all of Minecraft. You should prioritize iron farms. Ow. Ooh, almost popped the totem. Ooh, almost, 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 almost. June, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. All right, everybody ready for the super exciting part of the stream of just placing stone bricks as I go in circles? I, I know that's everybody's favorite part of the stream is stone bricks in circles. When you started this world, did you have a plan or just... So this world started as a realm with my friends. They played for all of two weeks. And I have the opposite of the two-week Minecraft addiction. What I kind of work opposite to everybody else. Basically what it boils down to is everybody talks like, I play two, my two weeks of Minecraft every six months. I play two weeks of other games every six months and then come back to Minecraft. So I had another long-running world at the time. My friends wanted to start a new realm. They asked me to join. So I played with them for a couple weeks. I started falling in love with this world. And then when they stopped playing, I just took it as my own and, you know, have not looked back. How long till end of stream? I'm an hour and 17 minutes in. It's 744. I'm going till at least 9 o'clock. And we'll see how I feel at 9 o'clock. Because I do have to work tomorrow. So hour and 15 minutes right now is my expectation. Recovery is going... What have I missed and gone about out? We're just working on the cathedral. Still mad. My crazy worlds all start as a realm of friends who played for 18 seconds. It feels like that sometimes, doesn't it? I mean, they've already been messaging me. They're, like, hungry to start a new realm and all that stuff. Uh, Sundays. Stream... Guaranteed streams are, Friday, are Thursdays and Sundays. And then anything extra is just extra as I have time. As I have time. Are you on Bedrock? Yes, I am. 
Can you dupe TNT in Bedrock? You cannot. You can duplicate San, but you cannot duplicate TNT. How do you come up with the ideas? I wing it. It's completely winging it the whole time. What would be a cool structure for a server? Com depends on your uh, build style. Like I'm, th this build style is very much outside of my comfort zone. Usually I stick to modern and like futuristic because I like that build. I like geometric style styles. So it really depends on your own build style. But no, I wing all my, all my builds for the most part, I wing it. Any of my farms I design in a creative test, oh, I fell, in a creative testing world called Labs. That's actually probably the oldest running world I have because it's existed through uh, several different long-term worlds that I've had. What Sam farm do you have? I used to use a farm designed by JC Plays. Uh, it's pretty much stopped working at this point, so now I, I don't duplicate sand anymore. I do know Snazzy Wazzy. He's the guy with the absolutely crazy villager XP farm. He's also got the like sand castle build, and he's doing the dirt castle right now, right? When did I make this world? Lily, the world is a little over two years old. It's February 2nd was the two year anniversary, and I have a little over 6,100 days. Uh, the mob farm still work. Mob farm works great. Uh, Matt Smith, thank you guys for the follows. Welcome, welcome. We are working on the inside. Hi, Sage. Taco Dog, thank you for the follow. Do you have another build in mind after this one is completed? If so, what is it? So there's some other stuff in the works. Uh, other stuff in the works that I'm not allowed to talk about just yet. So there is a plan for what's coming after this. Boo, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. End project. I'm not ever going back to that end project. What's the purpose of beacons in Minecraft? Beacons in Minecraft give you status effects. Like I have beacons right now giving me strength, regen, and resistance. No, we're never going back to the end project. The end project was... So the end... Uh, how do I summarize this? The end project would have been really, really cool, and it's definitely within my skill level to do it not within my time level so if i was like a full-time streamer that like the project i tried taking on is definitely like somebody who does this full-time and i just don't have the availability to do this full-time how do you make a beacon beacons are wither uh are nether stars uh obsidian and glass and then you put them on uh a pyramid of an ore block like iron emerald gold or diamond would you consider your disc farm a creeper farm or part creeper farm so the the music disc farm which we shouldn't be talking about you guys know the rules and the music disc farm is a take on a very inefficient creeper farm but it's a farm that only spawns creepers so it's kind of necessary to the creation of a music disc farm fix the disc farm maybe I don't know, that, that broke me. Are raid farms getting patched? I don't know what the changes are to raid farms. I just know I've seen a bunch of YouTube thumbnails saying raid farms are now uh, being patched out. So I haven't actually, I don't actually know the details, but uh, we'll, we'll see. This is why resistance, by the way. You can keep hitting me all you want. It's not going to make a difference. Bye. And that's why strength. They're getting AFK nerfed. So I'm assuming it means they're just going to slow down the spawn rate of captain spawns. What's the best way to find diamonds? So if you're late game Minecraft, I'd recommend a tunnel bore. If you're early game Minecraft, I like strip mining. Strip mining is, you know, mind numbing and super easy to do. I'm going to get nuked by a creeper. I know it's coming. Homie, that's a uh, control that's you can bind called Pick Block. Uh, it's in every version of Minecraft, and you just need to assign it to a button. Olivia, thank you for the follow. Besides silence, what's your other achievement you need? I need Star Trader. I need to trade with a villager at max build height. That's on the list. Are there potions? There are potions that start the raid, and captains no longer do. Oh. Oh, that's awful. That is absolutely awful. 
Tyler, there is a world tour available over on YouTube. You're more than welcome to go check it out. We just did it a couple weeks ago, so you haven't missed much. You get the potion from the captains, though. Oh, <laughs> that's not AFK nerf, then. That's just more difficult to AFK. If the captains are dropping the potions, then all you do is you get an allay to non-stackable item sort and use a water stream to throw it into the inventory of the AFK player and then just pin down the drink button. That's just making AFKing more difficult. It's not completely nerfing it. It's like any other uh, AFK setup with potions. You just set it so that you're not really AFKing them. You're just, you know, auto-dumping them into your inventory. It's just more difficult. That's all it is. Definitely a nerf, but not AFK proof. So explain because what's... So explain because what's... Huh? Some can drop them, not all. Yeah. So it's just... It's definitely nerf, but it's not AFK. Yeah, but... So you can't have the looting sword. Oh, well, you're still going to get... If you're on hard mode, you're still going to get totems and emeralds and... All that stuff anyway you're just not going to get them as much it's definitely a nerf i'm not arguing the nerf what i'm saying is it's not afk proof it's just making them afk difficult yeah if it's a if it's still a dropped item then you're fine Your cathedral looks like Tango's Citadel. You mean like the Citadel for... The Citadel for... What's it called? Can't think of the name of it. Which would give the raid farms complete overall. Yeah. So, yeah. It's just changing how raid farms work. All you're going to do is make it so that... The player automatically... I hear the skeleton. The player will automatically have to drink uh, decked out. That's what I was looking for. It's definitely nerfed. But it's not impossible. Hi. Bye. Hi, Nathan. If you watch Silence, recent Snapchat video kind of explains. Seems like they've changed again. It'll be what it'll be, right? We'll figure it out. Where do I find templates for netherite? You need to find them in Piglin Bastions. Bastion Remnants, whatever they're called. They're, they're Bastions. How can we play Bedrock over Java? It's just the version I'm more comfortable on because I've played it for longer. Turner, thank you for the follow. Is there new enchantments for the mace? I did see that. I haven't watched anything on the new enchantments yet. Like I said, I haven't had really time to sit down and watch YouTube, but... I'll probably take some time this weekend. Jake, I am working on the inside of my cathedral project. So, if the building you see at the bottom is the outside, this is the inside. Which I am out of stone. So this is what the outside looks like. I'm putting the inside in right now. It's going to be a chat. I need a lock in how many blocks high is it i don't know let's see we are here somebody can do some math so it starts at block level 79 and the top of it is at 265 so somebody can do the math on that so 79 and 265 187 so it's 187 blocks tall really i hit that little corner of the sea lantern okay whatever this is empty right no there's 64 left in here all right you're empty are you empty yeah you're empty look at that Empty shulker boxes go in here. And I need another... Nope, not you. You I need another. I will just take this first. 186, 187, 186, 186. Looks good. <laughs> Appreciate it. 
that's definitely not gonna be enough. I'll put these in here. Give me another shulker box of stone. Do I have a YouTube? I do. My YouTube is it's King or IV, same as the TikTok page. And all of my streams are split between the two. I just realized I don't need a crafting table for this, do I? Okay. <laughs> How many builds do I have? Too many, my man. No totem pops yet, Madden. Don't jinx me. I'm doing pretty good with the no totem pops tonight. How long have I been streaming part-time? So I gave a shot at streaming last year, but then I got crazy busy with work and life stuff. So I took a few months off. Uh, I've been trying to stream at least twice a week since uh, 2024 started. So this year I've been trying to do at least twice a week. Hey, Kinger, I'm doing good, Darth. Never too many, Kinger. Sometimes it's too many. I try to do at least twice a week uh, since 2024 started. How are you? I'm all right, Nate. Map update. Map, like the giant map over at spawn? Is that what you're talking about, McBride? Anakin Skywalker. Thank you for the follow. Nice name. Corners. I have not done the corners yet. <laughs> it's on the list. Yeah, I haven't had you on my FYP in like a week. Uh, if we make it back to spawn and you're still here, remind me. Alex, thank you for the follow. Drew, thank you for the follow. If we make it back to spawn, remind me and we'll take a look at the map. Where is this lighting glitch coming from, by the way? It's got to be coming from... Oh, I know what it's coming from. It's the half slabs. I'm like trying to figure out how it's so bright in here. It's because I half slab this area. Why do you use a totem when you're in survival? Because I'm in survival. I I will die if I take fatal damage and I don't want to lose my 403 levels. Are you saying why are you using a totem like this is creative mode? Hefe, I have had this world for a little over two years. And I have a little over 6,100 days in it. Minecraft days. I need to specify that. I say 6,100 days and people like do the math on like real life years. Danny wasn't here. She hasn't said anything in a while. I know Stormy's in here lurking. And I know Paige is in here lurking too. I am on Bedrock, yes. I am one of the few and proud Bedrock streamers. I'm lurking too, doing wedding stuff. Ah. Good to know you guys are in here lurking. Still at it. Still at it. It's like I'm forgotten. You're not forgotten, mole. I'll never lurk. <laughs> oh, we had a long discussion in Discord the other day that people figured out they can put my stream on in the background. That TikTok gives them that option now. And there's no bigger compliment to a streamer than being good at background noise. Why are you using a pickaxe? I'm very confused. This is all survival Minecraft. This is not creative mode. Everything in here is survival. I'm very curious why the, about the, those questions. Is it because I'm using pick block? Is I'm gonna have to do a video on this. <laughs> so people are always confused what how I'm able to like get new blocks into my inventory. It's just a button that you can find on any java bedrock switch xbox playstation you guys all have access to this it's just not bound when you first start playing the game all it does is if you have blocks in your inventory and you look at the same block and click it it pulls those blocks out of your inventory and into your hand so i'm not spawning new blocks in which i get accused of it's literally pulling them out of my inventory oh they're bots good to know Like some TikTok lives are so loud. We can do a loud one. I'll play some Apex and I'll get real loud. I don't know. Yeet's not in here. Yeet is one of the few people who is part of the stream back when we used to do uh, used to do Apex streams. Those were loud streams. How do you do the block thing? So it's a button you have to bind in your controls. 
So when you go into your settings, you want looking for an option called pick block and it allows you to do what I'm doing, which is taking the blocks out of my inventory and putting them back into my hand. So like, I'm gonna hit all of these and it's gonna drive me crazy. Cause I don't think I can jump over them. I can't cause I only made it one tall. We're doing a two level. Cause I will lose my sanity trying to do this the other way. I like peace, nah. I like that. We're gonna do a loud stream for no reason one day. Okay, but at least my question was reasonable. Who asked? <laughs> who asked if I don't know? Apparently, somebody thinks it was bots coming in and asking. Boom! Well, thank you for the follow, Darth. Uh, hopefully, I'm glad you could fall asleep. <laughs> I feel so weird only doing two at a time, but it's because I'm gonna hit my head on the poles. Anyway, how's my day going? My day's going great. Bone, Ryan, Jacob, thank you guys for the follow. I am ready for it to be a Friday, though. Taking the Jeep on my first overlanding trip of the year on Saturday. That should be fun. After I just spent a ton of money fixing it. Can't wait for that. Lincoln, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Philip, I am putting the inside into my cathedral. Or really just putting up the walls right now. Why are you building in survival? Do you mine all the materials you have? I have, uh, so all the smooth stone is farmed. So I have farms for almost every single item in the game. The purpose of this world for me and really what survival mode boils down to is I like to make my survival worlds as close to creative mode as I possibly can be. What did I say? Yes, Saturday I'm going overlanding. So I'll off-roading in my Jeep. I use that button, I use press down on my scroll wheel. That's what I bound uh, pick block with too. So I don't know if there'll be a stream Saturday. It depends on when I get back. Here's the fun part. How do I do underneath? I think I can just get away with doing this. Because I will leave the... Inf I don't want to look. How does this look from down here? I feel hurt. Can we? Uh, we can't see above. That's okay. We'll see what it looks like. That's a really tall stone brick wall. Please no loud stream. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I never heard of the term overlanding, only off-roading. I like it. I think it looks good. We're going to build pens in here for all the different mobs pick block it's in your controls so if you go into your controls you can assign a button for it hi creeper we're gonna go sleep because i did not want you spawning in here so if you get into your controls whether you're on mouse and keyboard or you're on controller you can bind it <sighs> ask darth if there's only one of peeps who didn't know you, yo, we're on YouTube now. Stream looking crisp. Thank you, PA. Welcome to the YouTube side of the stream. Huh? I have no idea. It's a little warm in here today. Your trick is can I fly and land up there in one go? Without. I don't. It counts. Did I build it one? I built it one above. Yeah, it's going to bug me. Might be dirt pillaring this up later. Because this is going to irritate me. We're going to do this first. Yeah, it's going to irritate me if it doesn't go all the way up. Do, 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 do. When it's raining outside, yes. Not much for the rain. AK, I can't tell if you're messing with me or not. <laughs> I really can't. If you are, you're doing a great job. <laughs> you got my head. <laughs> All 
our Minecraft adventure is calling. Hey, peeps. You guys are more than welcome to set up a world with each other. Again, I'm all for that. I just, I don't want to be the one policing it. I need 10 more stacks of scaffolding and 52 coral fans. Not sure how to get those. You need a, uh, coral fans. You need to go to a coral reef and find them. I'm just joking with the man. Love the stream. Okay. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. You had me confused. I could not tell if you were messing with me or not. That might be an issue because this is going to come up right here. I'm going to see this green and I'm going to hate it. Is that a, that is a full block spot, isn't it too? Hmm. Hmm. Frustrating. I'm definitely going to see that and I'm not going to like looking at it. I need to go get, I thought I put this far enough out where it wasn't going to be a problem. New. What do you post on YouTube? I have two whole YouTube videos, but basically I just split my streams with, uh, oh, I hear it. Hmm. I split my streams with YouTube so that if anybody misses a stream over here, they're able to go watch it back on YouTube. Well, that took out a sizable chunk of black con concrete, didn't it? I'm willing to bet I don't have any here. <laughs> nope. 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 Get lucky, please. Nope. Maybe. Ha. Ah. Lucky. And this. Nope. And nope. Me. You. And nope. Not ice. Where's other lighting sources? There we go. And some end rods. All right, let's fix what I just broke. But yeah, so YouTube is uh, two YouTube videos. One is my iron farm tutorial, and the other one is a uh, why I play bedrock explaining video. Ow. I don't really like editing videos. <laughs> I, I do not have the creative talent to do video editing, so I avoid it at all costs. Did it really get all the way over here too? It did, didn't it? I, ooh. Oh, I'm not gonna have, hopefully I have gray concrete too. Play my sister tonight, we definitely can some other time. I'm very sore. <laughs> this has become a catch-up chest. Gray concrete powder. Haha, <laughs> I do have a little left. This is why I don't throw anything away, ever. <laughs> it always becomes useful again. How often do you stream? So I try to do twice a week. There's always going to be a stream on Thursday, and there's always going to be a stream on Sunday. Anything extra is just extra as I have time to do it really what it boils down to so I try to do as much as I can do but my only promised streams are uh, Thursdays and Sundays do I have a concrete farm like a duplication gravity farm need to finish this wall bye man i like nuked this section over here didn't i Alrighty. all right black concrete goes right there and right there i don't think a sea lantern bit it there's a witch they are like really spawning up here right now i don't really want to light this up because it's hold on I think I'm going to have to at this point. Give me this. All right. 
I don't think so, Chase. As long as you have a bow and stacks of blocks, and it shouldn't be so bad. Yeah, but I kind of just want to place and not have to deal with it. My phone is almost dead. Charge your phone, man. I, you're good. Don't. You know, I appreciate all the love and support and all that good stuff, but you know, don't let your phone go dead on my behalf. I'm never going to see these pillars over here, so I'm just going to light them all up for now. No harm in this. That one I might... Uh, right there, I won't see. Hiding light sources. <laughs> Alrighty, back to it. Give me this. Did someone say pillars? No. <laughs> no, I am not doing pillars ever. I want to play Minecraft and I don't have a charger in my room. That's rough, man. You might need to you might need to commit for the craft. How am I flying? I have an Electra. I have wings on my back that allow me to fly. I thought I heard a creeper for a second. I think we need a no emote. Do we not have... Oh, am I going to have to create an... Uh, what would we use for the no emote, though? I don't know how we would do the no emote. Did I not? Oh, this is going to bug me. I don't know. It's kind of funny. You can get the wings in the end. Yes. What are you using the cathedral for? I have no, <laughs> no clue. Kind of just building it to build it. Really. This project does not have a set plan it's kind of just hey i have this cool build might as well build it it was supposed to be like my main base and then i ended up giving up on the project for a while and then came back to it if you can't tell because a bunch of this stuff is half finished he's just crafting <laughs> interiors are hard all i'm doing right now is putting up the walls and then when the walls are done uh i'm gonna build like individual cells and this is where i'm going to capture and collect all of the mobs so that's project number one is just setting up the you know well i built that too far over whatever we'll, we'll deal with that later Right now, project number one is just getting the walls put on. Any tips for bastions? Yeah, good bow and arrow or a trident. Dealing with piglin brutes, probably one of my least favorite enemies in the whole game. I have struggled more against piglin brutes than wardens and uh, withers and stuff like that. Piglin brutes are just so annoying. Luke, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Long way to go, long way to go, right? We'll see how it looks. You made a cathedral just for big animals. So the cathedral was supposed to be my main base, right? That was the that was the plan six months ago. Hi, running raining page, how are you? That was the plan, you know, six months ago. And then I gave up on the build because I lost a huge chunk of the save progress on it. And I just didn't want to work on it. And I ended up building a different main base somewhere else. So this build just sat unfinished. And every time I stream, people were like, hey, what's the biggest build in your world? I'm like, oh, it's this cathedral project that I started and never finished. So one day I woke up and I said, you know, it, it's time to go back and finish it. How to get the best what? I mean, my sister just got no fly. Oh, I'm sorry, Jenna. You've been making this for six months? No, 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 no. So I started this project one day, probably put about 20-ish hours in it, and 20, 25 hours, and then actually loaded up the game one day, and a huge chunk of my progress had been wiped because the save corrupted. So I basically got angry because I'd spent a bunch of work on it and 
kind of stopped working on this project for a while and ended up building a whole new base somewhere else and you know uh doing other projects around the world that this one kind of just remained unfinished for a really long time and then you know i started streaming again and one day i was everybody kind of asked hey what's the biggest build in your world what's the biggest build you know all that stuff so i'm like you know what it's time to go back and finish this beast yeah this whole thing is uh deep slate brick which is a fun build palette <laughs> oh i have a little in here okay give me you and you hi buddy bye buddy here wait do i already have one of these going i do there we go the storage area over here is a mess Can we see your regular base? Sure, if we make it back to spawn anytime soon. My regular base is very far from here. How much of Bingo is done? You'll have to ask Stormy if how Bingo's going. I have, I, she's definitely gotten me on a couple. I don't think I'm doing that bad on Bingo tonight. But again, that's Stormy's game. To, Stormy and Ali's game to track. And Paige, I think, I think she does it too. How do you insta mine Deep Slate in Bedrock? There is a video, I keep doing it. There is a video on my TikTok explaining how to do it. Basically, you're using Haste 2 and the Apex Swing Trick to get it done. Six are covered. Any of them in a row yet? Two more until bingo. Oh, I'm curious. Are you going to tell me the two more for bingo? Or am I going to have to, you know, watch myself? I don't know why I'm leaning out to, like, look around the corner. <laughs> it's not going to do anything. I, did, I keep block placing wrong. It should be a surprise. Bingo is a surprise. No, don't spoil it. All right, all right, all right. I have to make your own board and then play it. All right. It should be a surprise. That's why I'm trying to get to 50 subs on here. Apparently, if I hit 50 subs, I can start donating subs. And I feel like that'll be a fun way to give back to you guys. Give more people, like, the emotes and stuff like that. But I got to hit a certain threshold before I can do that. Also, I got to create a no emote. I don't know how I'm going to do the no emote. I'm going to have to... F I don't know what the no emote should be yet. I built your iron farm. It works nice, Bruce. I'm glad it's working for you. That, my mom ordered pizza. Nice. I don't know what I'm going to eat. I have not had food today. I've been having a really bad habit lately of not eating until I realize I'm hungry. At all? No. I had a muffin at like 6 a.m. Do you have videos on how to build different farms? I don't, the only tutorial video I have is my iron farm video. Cause that's the only one that I can speak to that I've designed all the way through and through. I appreciate that, Danny. I'll eat later, maybe. So it's still have some corn, maybe. <laughs> I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll bring the basalt down, and I think that'll add some more depth. I really don't like that I just went straight stone brick, but again, these are all going to be like custom pens and probably two levels of custom pens, so that'll allow me to figure this out better. Oh, also, while I got all of my regulars in here besides really Allie, uh, I appreciate you guys, and I have the Discord for everybody. Please don't send me friend requests on Discord. You know I love you all, and I built the Discord to interact with everybody. 
but I, I don't I'm getting like dozens of friend requests every day now and if you guys want to be part of it you guys can join the discord please don't add me individually not not my go-to I think the last time I ate was 11 this morning look at us go I know right I only done one curse word I'm doing fine Alrighty, so let's do the other side of stone brick. I think that's the next logical step. And then we start detail work, patching the top, and then building the pens, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if we'll have enough time. We'll see how far we get through putting the other side on. Tristan, thank you for the follow. Oh, I ended up up there. Alright, I have a bunch of stone brick in my machine. I ate two minutes ago. Good for you, Bruce. I don't know what I'm going to have for dinner. I don't know what I have. Sam, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Not too... Only counting... Oh, God, yeah, Dragon's Dogma. I was... <laughs> yeah, that... That game's... Eventful. We don't get to do... King or IV bingo on games that aren't Minecraft. You guys are eating today? <laughs> 50 plus oh yeah no dragon's dogma definitely was getting me heated it's so buggy it's so much fun though credit where credits do that game is an incredible amount of fun but man is it buggy i just drank half a gallon of milk and i feel terrible three out of ten wouldn't recommend that's too much milk ben i might have cereal for dinner that counts that's a meal Love this guy. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. There it goes. Cereal is good. Keep her going. Thanks, Demi. I have a cramp in my arm. How'd you manage that, homie? Why not? Because it'll upset your stomach, even if you're not lactose intolerant. Your body probably can't process that much dairy that quickly. What type of cereal? So I have honey bunches of oats, and I like to mix my honey bunches of oats with like special K or like frosted flakes. So there's like a little bit of sweetness in there, but it's still filling. Goated, thank you for the follow. Hi, Sarah. We are working on the inside of the cathedral. All right, here's a question for you guys. What's everybody's favorite cereal? Oh, Stormy, I'm sorry I missed it, but thank you for the corn. What's everybody's favorite cereal? I want to hear it. Don't have a favorite? That's tough to answer. All right, you're going into the grocery store, and you got the whole cereal aisle in front of you. You can pick out any cereal you want. It's Saturday morning. You're going to watch your cartoons. You want a bowl of cereal. What are you getting? Fruity Pebbles? Fruity Pebbles go to an answer. Ooh, mini wheat. Oh, mini wheat's pretty great. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Golden Grams. Ooh, I wasn't expecting Golden Grams. I haven't had those in a long time. Honey Nut Cheerios, Reese's Puffs. Okay, okay. I see you guys. Different one every time. I like them all. Honey Bunches of Oats. That's a good one. Another Fruity Pebbles. Cheerios are special. Okay, here you go, here you go. Rice. Like Rice Krispies? Oh, who uh, who grew up with, like, I don't know if this was, like, a my grandma thing or not, but my grandmother used to give me Rice Krispies, and she'd sprinkle a little bit of sugar on top of them. Any other, anybody else grow up doing that? I don't know if that was a thing or not. Chocolate and Strawberry Special K, that's pretty good. I'm not a big, I'm not a fan of the dark chocolate Special K. I had that for breakfast today. No, white rice with sugar and milk. Ooh, I've never had rice with milk. What are you asking, Raining? Yes? Oh, that's a, that was a delicacy growing up. What do you want today? I'll have some Rice Krispies, a little bit of granulated sugar. And it would always make like that, like, I don't know, paste is the right word. Or like, you'd be like scraping the sugar off the bottom of the bowl when you were done with the Rice Krispies. And the milk was like super, super sweet. You did that with Frosted Flakes? I feel like that'd be too sweet, Brooklyn. I feel like that is, there is such a thing as too sweet. I still do that sometimes. 
I haven't done that in so long. Might have to. I might I might go to the store tomorrow after work and buy some Rice Krispies. I don't think I have granulated sugar. I don't do enough baking to have granulated sugar in the house. Ooh, here's here's one. I hear a creeper. Hi. Yep. Well, at least you weren't around anything that can really blow up. All right, here's here's a question for the group. If if you eat eggs, that's an if because not everybody eats eggs. What's your go-to egg? You like a scrambled, fried egg, you know, eggs over easy. What's your go-to egg? We're on like the breakfast food stuff right now. Thank you, Zach. How you doing, man? How you been, brother? Over easy with toast. Good answer, good answer. Scrambled. Good answer, good answer. Do you play on Nintendo Switch? I do not. I'm on PC. Uh oh, Anthony, I saw your answer for a second, then Streamlabs caught it. That's the long message. I don't know why it does that. Spend some eating it with scrambled eggs and some sausage. It's pretty good. Runny in a sandwich. That's pretty good. Is there a bad way to eat an egg? Is really like, I'll throw you guys for a loop, right? Like nobody even considered this. Deviled eggs. Deviled eggs. Like like, like we're skipping right over the best way to eat eggs. Boiled. I wouldn't mind. Hi. Hi, friends. Bye, friends. Oh, he still got me. Deviled eggs, so good. What's the best way to... Uh, probably, what are you asking? What is the best buy to live in Minecraft? I don't know what your question is. <laughs> I wish I had an answer for you, man. I don't, I don't know how to answer that one. What is the best biome? Uh, I don't... really depends on the player, I guess. I like living in jungle biomes or plains biomes just so that I get like the pretty green textures. Uh, but you know, there's no real wrong biome to live in. I I wouldn't live in like a taiga biome because those are annoying to build and pick. Fox, thank you for the follow. Pickled eggs. Never had a pickled egg. Oh, here's here's one. Here's one. Keep, we're keeping on the food and now we're on pickles. What's everybody's favorite kind of pickle? It like. Dill pickle, spicy pickle, like the, like, sweet ones. It's everybody's favorite kind of pickle. Dill. Now, dill, like, spears or slices? Spears or slices? Because that, that's an important. Pickles are disgusting. Oh, doesn't like ice cream, doesn't like pickles. Stormy, you're my top viewer. How are you ripping my heart out? Dasket, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Sweet pickles. Dill spears, fair. Definitely spears. You guys are spears, huh? Spears are. I'm I'm a slices guy. Like, just give me like the little like coin slices and just sit there and just eat, eat them. Hi, Framer. How are we doing? I like the chips too. Ooh, all right, all right. Moving on, moving on, moving on. Sticking with the pickles theme. What's your go-to fried pickle? Like, are you a Spears with the fried pickles or chips? Because there's a big difference between those two. I'll get defensive on this one. Jenna, have a great rest of your night. Hi, buddy. Bye, buddy. Chips. Chips. Got to be chips. Got to be chips. Chips. No fried pickles. No fried pickles. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Never had a fried pickle? They're so good. A little bit of ranch or like a little bit of spicy buffalo ranch. Oh, so, so good. You had fried pickles with cream cheese? I have. Oh, that's also so good. Like... Oh. Chips with ranch, chip with ranch, never had chips for sure. Chips. I, I agree, definitely chips. I do not play Switch. I play on PC. I don't like fried tomatoes. Never had fried tomatoes. That's a new one. I've never heard of that one. Chips with ranch, never had a fried pickle. Also don't like fried tomatoes. I've never heard of fried tomatoes. That's a new one. People fried tomatoes? All right, Kelly, we're going to need you to elaborate on the fried tomatoes comment. Didn't know that was a thing. Want to know about it now. User, thank you for the follow. I need to hear more about this fried tomato you talk about. I don't understand sun-dried tomatoes. You're telling me a sun does that? Okay, guys, I have one for you. No, 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 Paige, Paige, hold off. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to hear the background of fried potato or fried tomatoes. 
I've never heard fried tomatoes before. What are you building? I'm putting the interior or starting to put the interior in the cathedral. And the cathedral is the picture pictured at the bottom of the stream. The green one is... Are you t I've had like fried peppers. Never fried tomatoes. I've never had a green tomato. MN State Fair has fried tomatoes, but they usually have fried fruit and everything else. I gotta have fried fruit, like fried banana with a little bit of chocolate. Oh, that's really good. Fried green potatoes are amazing, King. You have to try it. All right, I will look for a recipe online and try to make myself some fried. Uh, is this the right? No, I need to do two. I will look and try to find a fried tomato recipe. All right, Paige, what do you got for me? What's, what is your question to the chat? What is your food recommendation? Let us know how it is. I will. No promises anytime soon, though. Kryptonite, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Fried green tomatoes taste like grilled cheese. That's a bold statement, Nessa. We're bringing grilled cheese into the conversation. Hi, Bill. Welcome back. We're talking about food. Hope you're not hungry. <laughs> Justin, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. What is... Favorite ice cream? Can't do... Or we, I'm waiting for Paige to give her... To give hers. I don't think it's grilled cheese at all. Paige, you got like 30 seconds left before we open up the... To the next stream of food questions garage thank you for the follow welcome welcome come on Paige. let's hear it still got the mullet kind of i mean it's trimmed way back because i'm told to keep it respectable for work it's i sent it i don't i have a you better from you page and then a i sent it message so the we might be losing the mullet here soon it not getting some gruff on work about being a presenting myself professionally when I have a mullet. It flagged it as spam. I didn't flag it as spam. That's TikTok flagging it as spam. Believe it or not, a mullet is not considered a professional look in a corporate environment. You wouldn't know. Would you rather have a steak or a burger steak? All the way. No questions. I mean, I've had good steaks and good burgers, but n the best burger doesn't beat a good steak. I didn't mark anything as spam. You know I wouldn't do that. What TikTok marks it as, I don't have much power over that. I'll have to say it in the Discord. I can't look at Discord while I'm streaming. Which is not a, you know, invitation to go nuts in Discord. She's asking opinions on spam the food. Oh, never had it. Never had spam. Oh, okay. <laughs> so what's everybody's take on spam then? I've never had spam. Yes, thank you. Sorry, I didn't understand your question. So... It's okay, not my favorite food, but I don't hate it. Yeah, I've never never had it, so what does it taste like? It's good. I mean, I've never heard anybody complain about it, but I've also heard never, nobody rave about it. <laughs> Wait, Paige, aren't you also the one who said she didn't like SpaghettiOs? Was that you, Paige? I tried to block out that whole conversation from my, you know, memory. Kind of tastes like cheap sausage. I tried SpaghettiOs. You got to try Spam. I will. Okay, we're going to. You guys will have to track it in Discord. All the foods I'm going to have to try. Vanilla ice cream. Ooh, vanilla ice cream is pretty good. If I tried SpaghettiOs, you got to try. Yeah, you guys will have to put the questions on whatever food we're tracking. This is like the 10th stream that has devolved into talking about food. I just want to point that out. Fried tomatoes first. Got it. 
apparently something we can all agree on are different types of food and you know i'm just glad my community has such a diverse palette vanilla bean or just plain vanilla all right i'm just gonna connect these because i don't have another plan for this just yet give me this all right down we go and removing you and removing you because i don't have a plan for this yet down we go Alrighty. These are some seriously tall walls. Also, these aren't even, and that's going to bug the shit out of me. Oh, that's going to drive me crazy. Absolutely crazy. But it can't be avoided, because that's how the inside of this lays out. Nope. I'll make it work. I'll figure it out. I'm just not going to look at it. So the how it ended up is if you look at the build because of the front because of this indentation front right here it's why the inside doesn't line up so because these aren't these are square off the build itself not square off the front side sure I, I i i can't look at this right now i'll go look at main base it's me building it of course it can happen Come on, when, when have I ever made something square on the first try? Alrighty, give me these back. Da, 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 da. You and you. Hey, TikTok, catch up. Thank you. Uh, here, here, there. Open, apply. There we go. portal i'm super s lactose and sensors i don't always eat it what do you do for work we kind of talked about that earlier anthony you'll, you'll have to scroll back on the stream on that one all right there we go be right back wow i totally biffed that corner jump Let's see if i can do this one yeah i nailed it Oh, here's a trick for you bedrock people. This is this is 100% a bug, but once you learn how to pull it off, it's a very helpful bug. So you can 90 degree your electro flying by instant jumping the second you touch the ground. So if you're flying and you insta touch the ground, it'll keep you in the air. So like, if you want to turn around, it'll keep you in the air. So it's very hard to do and I'm I'm not even perfect at it. But well, you can see right there, I touched the ground, 90 and went this way. Very difficult to do, but once you like master that little bug delay, it's much nicer. If they ever patch that out, I'm gonna cry. So technically, you're deactivating and reactivating your elytra so fast the game can't update, which allows you to make that really, really sharp corner without losing like your momentum. Because normally you can corner that fast on mouse and keyboard, but then you lose your elytra momentum. That allows you to save your, uh, save your momentum. back and then all right so this is home base really so it's not as big and as grand as the cathedral but it's really what my whole world boils down to it's my nice little custom storage base fly into here big portal for the door there's over 300 modules in here that sort things out, as well as a catch-all. I think we did the math one day. It holds a little over like 2.6 million items if I filled the entire build. But this is what I, oh, excuse me. This is what I consider my main base. Allows me to collect all my stuff. Like I know only in this box will ever be white concrete. Or I know that this block, well, it's empty, but <laughs> this box is only ever going to have chests in it makes you know late game minecraft a much much easier but yeah this is home and then there's my logo sleep time and then somebody was asking about it earlier i don't remember who it was try strawberry ice cream i love strawberry ice cream oh there's the frame rate 
<laughs> frame rate hurts. Uh, we did this project on live stream a long time ago. But yeah, this is the big map. So for reference, this little white square is us. And where we just were, the cathedral, is right here. And then, oh, the, oh, we probably should update this beast. And then there's the guardian farm that we've been working on. Yeah, it was a couple weeks ago. So this is a project we did, ah, oh, maybe like a month ago now. Yeah, and I still haven't done the corners. You guys can be mad at me. I still haven't done the corners. Max, thank you for the follow. What do I do for levels? I have over 20 farms that give me XP while I'm AFK, depending on which one I want to run and when I'm running them. <laughs> you can hang your face all you want. Also, I've been really thinking about changing the penthouse. Like, the penthouse has remained unchanged for so long, but I want to add another level to it. Like, underneath. I don't know how I'd do it, though. I think I'd have to take out, like, the living room. But I don't know. I also feel... Is it is it weird I feel, like, dirty in my own Minecraft world to, like, dissolve builds that are almost two years old? Like, this, this build is so old, like, it's a staple of my world, and I just kind of want to you know, knock this out and build, like, a secondary floor down below. Tour of the penthouse. This is an easy one. So, I'm watching you on the toilet. It's the best place to be on TikTok, man. So, here is, like, the entranceway. This is a bubble vader. Oh, actually, we should probably start from the bottom of the tower. Do, do, do. Hi, Kara. So, coming through the entrance, you got the lobby. Which the lobby is very basic because I cannot do interior decorating to save my life. And the little LA that's been hiding down here forever. We go up. Keep the penthouse. It's a staple. I'll keep it. So we come up here. This is also where my portal collects. Come through the entrance. You got my little kitchen. You know, here you got the fridge. You know, I got the dragon egg, the different mob heads. I got my first dog. He's still up here. I got my parrot. I had a cat. I have not seen the cat in a really long time. But I got my little living room. A lot of streams have started right here. <laughs> I got like the little living room here. And you come up through here. Got my bed. And then I got like my first set of armor. That's not my first sword. That's just, but this was my first armor from the world. And then it looks over storage. I love the stoves. Thank you. That's simple. Again, I am terrible at like decorating in minecraft this i haven't touched it in so long but it's simple kind of like the only like interior decorated place ty brennan thank you guys for the follow your cat ran away odds are i it stood up followed me somewhere and it's still in an unloaded chunk somewhere hi buddy that's i get stuck but yeah so i i won't I really want to add another level to the build. But this this is like a year and a half old Minecraft project in this world that I have not touched or done anything to. Besides, we moved the nether portal up here a few weeks ago just to make things easier. Thank you, Luca. I appreciate that. I don't know. It's homey. It's getting to the part of the stream where I'm kind of losing my mind a little bit. So I'm running around doing... Oh, I fell. Doing a bunch of little stuff. Ow. Hi, Mittens. Yep, definitely losing <laughs> my mind. Hi, Cap. How are we doing? What's the circle thing? Okay, the circle thing. Uh, I have no idea what this is. I've made this like over a year ago. Have, don't remember what the project was supposed to be laid out consecutive circles on this level this whole island put these circles in i have absolutely no idea what i'm doing with it like i leave this here solely because people ask about it and i just i just don't know i feel like you're losing it uh favorite part of the world that's so hard favorite part of the world is such a difficult ask uh because pretty much whatever i'm working on it's like my new favorite thing right this is the map of the, not the map of the whole world, but map of most of the world. For scale, this little white box right here is us. 
Is that a city in the back? That? Ooh, we can go look at that. This is my first industrial area. So, like I talk about all the time, the point of this world is to get as close to creative mode as I possibly can. So I build farms for almost every single item that I can. So this area has over 30 farms in it that I can AFK depending on where I'm standing. Like, just for example, there's an ink farm generating ink right there. So it's not necessarily a city. Also, what blew uh, naturally Nate's mind is all of this. I play on Bedrock. All of this is on glass. So this entire area, all these builds are completely spawn-proof. Besides, uh, uh, whatever they're called, phantoms, I could stand right here and never be threatened. Uh, I, I have a little over two years in the world and a little over 6,100 days. So, just... There's very few games I say I'm good at, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty decent at Minecraft. I like... This is what I love about Minecraft is like technical builds, like auto brewers, uh, big furnace arrays, you know, little farms here and there. Raining page, I play bedrock. There it is. Did I say hit a wall? I don't think I said hit a wall. I don't want to get... Oh, no, I don't want to get bingoed. I don't think I bingoed. I didn't say it. I, I, I know I said I didn't hit a wall. Should make an oil rig. I do have an oil rig. It's decommissioned right now. So my first guardian farm in this world looks like I call it the oil rig. So it look that's what its name was. But it's been it's been decommissioned because it stopped doing the rates I needed it to. I don't think I did, Stormy. I really don't think I did. I think I caught myself just in time. I don't think I said it. I didn't say it. I was good. I had to leave because the stream glitched. Sorry. I want to bingo. Too bad. Riley, thank you for the follow. Losing my mind. I am not flexing on camera ever. Ever. No matter how comfortable I am in my own skin and my own body, I will never do that. You can mark my words on that. Because I also, as happy as I am, I do not like the way I look all the time, and I don't want to. Sophia, thank you for the follow. I appreciate all of you. Yes, oh, they're in here. Two of them are in here. They're just not saying anything. I've seen them join. I want to come mess with these guys for no reason. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Raining page. This is bedrock edition. Bedrock. On PC. Because I'm weird. Any of you... There's a, quite a few of us in here today. Anybody part of the stream last year when we got the sniffers? The most useless mob in the game. Anybody curious, this is a sniffer. They're big, giant dinosaurs that got added in 1.21. They're very difficult to find, and they get these cool things called ancient seeds that you see here that do absolutely nothing and are completely useless. You find these guys are so... It's, it's really difficult to find them, so you have to find underwater ruins in warm ocean biomes... And you need to use a brush on suspicious sand. To... Hold on. Hi, buddy. To get yourself an egg. And then if you get an egg, you have to, you know, hatch the egg. And then get another egg and hatch that. You are like, hi, buddy. Hi, friend. Hi. Hold on. I'm trying to trying to, trying to to talk to my chat here. Then you get two of them. You breed them. He's just going to walk through me again. Well, okay, then. Thanos, thank you for the follow. They, they're, you know what, all, all fair, love and war. These guys are pretty cute. They're just useless. They, they really are. Like, ow, you're in my way. I'm collecting your stuff. Like, they give you ancient seeds, and they're following me right now because they want the torch flower seeds. To, oh, no, I voted for them. Oh, I, could, I voted for these guys. 
I thought they were going to do a lot more than they did. All these guys do, really, is they give you seeds. So I have a really simple farm set up to give me seeds. And then if you grow those seeds, this is what they look like. So you have the pitcher plant and the torch flower. Now, it was really cool in concept because, hey, we could have gotten like a cool new potion or something out of these. But nope, they're just decoration blocks. And the torch flower named like torch flower doesn't even give off any light. Like they're purely like just decoration. The torch if the torch flower admitted light, I, I ooh, really zoomed in. I would be OK with it. The torch flower doesn't admit light, so it's it, it, it's not doesn't do anything. It's all they really needed to make this, you know, a worthy update. They're cool. They're pretty. But it is what it is. So, Danny, the sniffer eggs. Doo -doo -doo. So, this is a sniffer egg. You find a sniffer egg by using a brush on suspicious sand in an underwater uh, ruined monument structure in a warm ocean biome. And that allows you to find these. But again, for the amount of difficulty it is to find those eggs, they're not worth it. They're really not. They're cool. I mean, yeah. Check in a box that you have them, but... Hi, Tim. Yeah. They're very difficult to find, and they just... Uh, you had the... Oh, what were they? You had... It was like the Tough Golem and the... Oh, I can't remember. It was like the little miner dude who ran around, and, he, and if you found him, he played hide-and-seek with him. If you found him, then you could get some stuff there. Sure. Also, I voted for the crab this year. The crab should have won. The armadillo, it's cute. Dog armor, sounds cool. Moving on. I've had enough rants on camera about the next update. This is a realm, yes. But it is a single player realm. I'm the only one in here. I put it on a realm because if my game crashes, I've lost countless hours. Uh, that's the raid farm. Went past it. I've lost countless hours uh, due to save corruption. So I uploaded it to a realm so that if anything crashes, it's saved. How do you vote next time? They usually open up a world and you go into the world and they have codes built in where you can... Uh, vote. Yeah, so here is... So for reference, the big tower that we were in earlier is over there. This is my buddy Sean's house. Oh, that nether hub, I don't want to... That's hundreds of hours. So this is my buddy Sean's house. He likes to collect animals and farm. Also, for some reason, I love my friends, but, like, they just fish. Like, they spent two weeks in this world, and, like, probably 13 of those 14 days with them fishing. Because that's just what he does. He has his little house right here, and he would just stand right here and fish. <laughs> like the live. Like the live if you want a fishing stream. <laughs> uh, is it just you? So, uh, I'm the only one in this world. My friends played for two weeks and then never joined the world again. So it's been me in here for the last two years, one month, and ten days, or whatever the math is. They're very much, they like to start a new world and then play in it for a little while and then, you know, bow out. So this is Liam's house, Liam and Stormy's house. Liam is one of my mods uh, who used to argue with Stormy a lot. So, the only change that I made to his house is this is Stormy's bed, because the two of them mess with each other. But yeah, this is his house, untouched from the last time he was in it, besides the new bed. And then, little docks, and then this is Dalton's house. Yeah. Never s yeah. They're big, like I said, they play Minecraft two weeks every six months. Th Hey, Kinger's OK to build an iron farm at Y200 is aggressive, Loris. I don't see why it wouldn't be. Have fun getting the villagers up there. And then, so this is Dalton's house. And then this is Dale's house. So again, 
I'm I not to call them out. I'm willing to bet they they Google image their house, but that's fine. Hi, Luke. That's the thing. Getting the villagers there. Get, moving villagers is always fun. And then, oh wait, yeah. I guess to be fair, those are their starter houses. The first iron farm, and then this was my starter house over here. So my little starter house, my little storage base, the first villager breeder. These guys have hundreds of grandbabies, and they'll never know. Dylan, thank you for the follow. I'll be honest, all the stuff I've built in my world, and this is still one of my favorite builds, is this little storage house. I'm trying to eat. All of the builds I have in this world, and I still love my little storage house. Is it okay to put it beside your creeper farm? Yes. Yes, it is. I'd actually recommend that, so you can AFK both at a time. Uh, iron golems and creepers do not take up the same mob cap, mm. so you would be okay. I still really like this little storage base. Yeah, little. They have great, great, great grandbabies. They have a lot of grandbabies. Uh, da, da, da. I saw something. Best XP farm. The best XP farm is probably the Guardian farm, or like the. Uh, yeah, probably just the Guardian farm. I mean, everything else isn't slow. Like the Drown farm is pretty quick. I mean, the easiest one is this farm right here. Which, with the destruction of that iron farm, in the original Guardian farm, this might now be the oldest farm still standing in the world. This is a portal-based gold farm that you can make on bedrock. Actually, yeah, now that I think of it, with that torn out, that you can kind of see it in the distance, that's an old iron farm. With that torn out and then the old guardian farm torn out, this might be the new oldest build in the world. Alyssa, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Like I said, we always hit the same point in the stream where I kind of just lose my mind and fly around. Hi, Zach. How we doing? I'm going to have to rip this beast out at some point. You can see the portal I used to move the villagers over there. And like, oh, I am only four followers from 18k. That's wild. AKA hitting a wall. I'm not saying it. I'm not saying hitting a wall tonight. How's the cathedral looking? Uh, we'll go take a look at the cathedral. Three, appreciate the appreciate you, Chad. I don't know, Chad is that person? How close are we to ending the stream? I said it, but I didn't say it. Say it. You know the rules. Close. Un Unfortunately, like I said, I do have to work tomorrow, so I can't stay up super super late. I can't trigger it right now. Vaughn, thank you for the follow. Nailed. Nailed it. That's... Alright, I said that one. That one's on the bingo card. And it's an emote. That one slipped out. You don't have it off. Isn't there a holiday? Is there a holiday for tomorrow? Tomorrow's Friday. Am I one off? I'm two off. Nailed it. There it is. It's been on there. Okay. So I already did a nail it. So that one didn't mess me up. Good Friday. Oh, yeah, no. That's not a holiday for what I do. Yeah, Easter is Sunday. So this is what we added. We added a strip right there. We added a strip right there and a strip right there. We did all the lanterns and detail work. And then we did... You hit 18K. I'm still showing 17,998 on my screen. So I'm still two off on my screen. Since when can you use nether portals as normal portals? What do you mean, Thanos? Oh, awesome. Thank you guys for 18K. I appreciate you. I'm sorry on my end it's not popping up, but thank you. Now it definitely says 18K. Thank you, Alex and Billy. Appreciate the follow. Welcome, welcome. So these aren't normal. These are normal portals. I'm going to the nether. Thank you, Josh. Appreciate you. So this is going through the nether. It's just connecting to my hub that's built on the other side. Hi, Gert. Thank you guys very much for 18K, by the way. We need 2K more. I didn't think we were going to hit 15K, and we blew right past it. <laughs> Somebody unfollowed. <laughs> 17999. Appreciate you. Gert, thank you for the OG. Or thank you for the GG. Appreciate you. But yeah, so this is all in the nether. I mean, we're in the nether right now. It's just inside my nether hub. User, thank you for the follow. Welcome. 
Caleb, thank you for the follow. Yep, so this is all nether. It's just uh, the hub is built spawn-proof so that uh, nothing can get me in here. Kirby, uh, this world is a little over two years old. I'm going to go here. I haven't gone here yet today. I'm going to do some village trading while I'm thinking about it. Barcelonas, thank you for the follow. Please stay. Thought you can't combine soap touch with mending? Of course you can. You can't uh, combine infinity bows with mending. Or is it with flame? No, it's it's mending. Thank you, Kirby. Noah, thank you for the follow. Appreciate y'all. It's fortune with soak touch. No, you... Yeah, fortune and soak touch do not cross. Because you can't... Soak touch picks up the whole block and fortune breaks it into more drops. So, yeah. <laughs> Those ones... Unfortunately, you can't do it. Also, I learned a new trick. I'm... S Oh, you haven't restocked yet? You bastard. Have you? Oh, all of you are going to be out, aren't you? Foxes? Yeah, so this is where my villager trading hall is. Put these back. And this is all in a taiga biome. So foxes spawn in here from time to time. There should be one... Na there he is. Hi, buddy. He doesn't like me very much, but he's part of my trading hall security. He kills the pesky chickens that get in here. And then I have my actual security guards, which are the big iron golems that kill everything else. And then a kitty cat. I don't know how you got in here. There shouldn't be enough beds for kitty cats to spawn. You, did you come through a portal? Are you a my kitty cat? You're not one of my kitty cats. I have no idea how a cat spawned here. Alexis, thank you for the follow. Have you guys restocked yet? Can I trade with you? Huh? Sir, I need you to restock. All of you, technically. Huh? 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 12 wool is a ripoff, sir. Samuel, thank you for the follow. Restock huh? your trades. I can't... S I hate villagers. They're fired. No, oh, they're... There. Oh. Do, do, do. Hi, buddy. Bye, buddy. Can't wait for the different. Oh, I am so ready for the different wolf types. You have no idea. I love collecting things. If you guys can't tell from my incessant need to never throw anything away, I love collecting things in this game. I'm so ready to get all the different uh, mobs. Thank you, Thanos. I appreciate that. Did you restock? No. I'm going to leave and come back. Is there a world tour? There is a world tour available on YouTube. There's actually two. So I have one for 5,000 days, and I have one for, uh, can't do math, 6,000 days. I'm going to come back and trade. And the world is 6,100-ish days old. Almost. Is there a way? When's 7,000 going to come? I'll be honest with you. I don't know if we're going to make it to 7K. Usually, I'm on a two, two and a half year rotation on creating a new world. And this world is almost, is over two years old now. So, I've been itching. I've been itching for a new world. I really have been. Hi, Scottish gal. It's on my mind. Usually I'm good for about two, two and a half years in a world. And I'm definitely itching. I'm, re I'm ready. And if I start a new world, you guys will get to all start it with me, which I think will be cool. This is the recent project. I was just coming over here because I broke the bed earlier. Honestly, that would be sick to see you start from the ground up. I'm getting ready. Not yet. Not yet. I'm not going to give you guys a date, but it's it's coming. It's definitely coming. Bowman, thank you for the follow. I'm very... I am itching for a new world. I'm ready. We've done a lot of cool stuff in this world. And also, if I do ever do start a new world, 
I will make this world downloadable. So, like, if anybody ever wants to, like, see and explore this and, like, stuff they haven't seen on stream, because there's a bunch of... I actually was going to do a whole video series on abandoned places in my world. And so I have, a, I have enough places in this world that are abandoned for uh, people to explore. Maybe. I haven't had time to do, like, a video series on TikTok in a long time. Billy, thank you for the follow. Thank, thank you for the follow. Bowman, thank you for the follow. No, I'm not ready for this. I, I, you you got to move on from a Minecraft world. Like, as fun as this one was and as much love as I have for this world, I'm kind of ready. Kind of ready for a new one. Again, it's not going to be today. It's not going to be tomorrow. And, you know, my regulars, the Royal Army, you guys will be knowing, notified. TJ, nothing's happened to the world. We're just talking. It's the end of the stream where I kind of, you know, go off on little tangents. But... I've been I've been thinking about starting a new world here soon. Thinking it's it's I've been thinking. Usually I do about two two and a half years in a world, and I'm I'm thinking about a new world soon. So you haven't missed anything. This world's not going anywhere yet, but it's a maybe. It's a maybe. It's all right. We're, all right, here. First, per I am going to end the stream. So first person to give us a locale is where we're going to end it. First person to name where the stream is ending will end the stream there. I'll let you guys pick the location. End portal? Page wins it with the end portal. Stormy, I haven't seen a comment from you in a while. Oh, in the wall. Out of the wall. And portals this way. Hi, adventures. Ow. One of the dangers of reading chat while flying. I've been talking to myself. Good to know. I'm sorry, Stormy. It makes sense for you to start one soon due to having almost everything automated. I want to make progress. Chris, thank you for the follow. -up. How do you link portals? Uh, Cameron, top of my TikTok page is a video exactly how to do it. Sniffers. It is like 1.1 at this point. Now we're in the end portal room. Also, it's probably about time I update that end portal video. If you guys watch it, the level of like mic quality I had back then was horrible. Anyway, this is the end portal. And so this is where Paige was the first to volunteer where I was going to end the stream. So I figured it. Hi, Cecilia. Castro, thank you for the follow. But I appreciate all of you. You guys are the best, as always. We hit 18,000 followers tonight, which is absolutely wild. I wish I could check my sub count on YouTube because we got a few new subs over there. I appreciate all of you. Thank you, everybody who hung out during the stream. I will be going live again possibly tomorrow night. Possibly tomorrow night. But definitely on Sunday. Have a good weekend, everybody. I'm going to go try fried tomatoes and spam at some point in the future. I'll let you guys know what I think. Vivian, thank you for the follow. Have a good night, everybody. I appreciate you all.